second quarterfinal. On quarterfinal Friday, earlier today, we saw Quebec a winner. Now it's the first and second place game, Manitoba against Alberta. And Kevin Martin, finishing first at 10 and 1, has elected to play Yellow Stones, and he has hammer as we play third stones and the first third yep. stone for alberta is don walcha wow. this should be a classic wow. Vic. these are I mean, the best two teams here all week uh, uh, Sorry, they don't. both play big time on the w world curling tour circuit and and uh, they've showed uh, all kinds of things today and all week and it's interesting that uh, jeff stoughton has been relentless with his offensive attack and it started right here in the first end he threw the first rock into the forefoot. Kevin threw up the uh, corner guard, and Jeff didn't play it tight to the rings. He played a guard on the shot stone, and that's the rock they're protecting to this very moment. The Manitoba third, Ken Tresser. Vic Rotor along Lions with Linda Moore, Ray Turnbull, and our whoa, 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 whoa. season of champions crew on our final telecast from here in Kamloops. No, 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 no. Alberta playing the runbacks haven't successfully made one Not yet. They've been peeling off the front one quite nicely. If one gets too close, though, watch for Don yeah. Walchuk. He's really got the big weight to make these so well. And that's an example that? right there of what uh, Linda was saying. It's too tight to the rings. So these are the first four teams. Winner of this one goes through to Sunday's final. The loser will play Quebec, who beat PEI earlier today, 7-4, with the winner going on to Sunday to determine the... Yep champion this is oh. Walchuk yes. the magician makes them disappear he's certainly the uh, Nolan Ryan of this game that's for sure he can wind it up and throw it and he throws them so accurately nothing okay. but fastballs we talk about the weapons you bring to the game. Well, both of these teams can play all the shots, but in particular, Don Walchuk and Kevin Martin can play the very up weight. We'll be timing some of these, so you'll see how fast they go, and they can spill rocks that you don't even think can go out of the house. It's interesting. Jeff Stoughton has that uh, ability as well to throw the big weight, but Kenny Tresser doesn't, uh, doesn't step the stones up like uh, Don does, that's for sure. The matchups are really interesting tonight because... If you look at the, you know, young Steve Gould has to go head on head with Don Bartlett, uh, world champion, Canadian champion. It's Steve's 23 year old uh, first yep. briar. Gary Vandenberg, it's his second yep. briar. He's a veteran, Whoa, 35 Whoa. years old. Whoa, He's up against uh, a new member of this Martin Whoa, team, Sean Whoa. Broda, at age 26. Whoa. It's really interesting. Then you got Don Walchuk against Kenny Tresser. Whoa. Both have been Whoa. outstanding this week. And the skips. What more can you say? They're just uh, Kevin Martin's been sensational, and Jeff's been there when he's had to be. And makes a great Hot shot right there, there with there. his first skip stone. Manitoba's just out. out. Back. I think I can see all of it. Well, you'd have to be down a bit, eh? Alberta's only loss in the round robin, of course, was to Jeff Stout, and some people were saying, well, you know, uh, Kevin missed his last shot, but let's remember back to that game, game, Vic. Uh, I think you could see uh, it all. At one time, Stoughton was three up, and it kind of went back and forth, and then Jeff lost control of it, and then ended up stealing it. It's a beautiful come around, so Kevin Oney can play the run back. We have mics on uh, both the thirds and the skips, but they're both uh, both very quiet uh, most times. Uh, Jeff and Kevin and yep. Kenny and Whoa. Don, so there won't be a lot of Whoa. conversation. They just all go about their job uh, oh. very professionally and very businesslike. Oh. Yep. Well, oh. yep. Oh. Oh. We'll push it by. Now will the shooter hang around? And it does <laughs> on the edge of the 12. Oh, it's really straight away from the line today. <coughs> that was something we noticed uh, earlier today. The teams were getting caught a little bit, slightly straighter in one spot from the ah, inside like towards yeah. the boards, inside out turn. Normally we see most of the movement there, but suddenly today there are a few spots that are a little bit different. And these two teams, of course, haven't played since yesterday. So they're going to start to pick that up. This is a terrific illustration of how Jeff Stoughton plays Stout. the game. He plays it offensively. Now, he could split the rings here in lie two and uh, uh, force uh, yeah. Kevin Martin to uh, go to the rings and get his single. But no, he's going to play the guard, make uh, Kevin uh, draw, try and score a single, and make the draw a little more difficult. 
Oh, cannot oh, take good. this to the rings. Mine's he can't good. be tight with it. So wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay close. Whoa. whoa. Unlike round robin, red stones whoa. do not have whoa. last rock in this whoa. game. It Tie's belongs up. to yellow and Alberta. Whoa. He didn't want to go to the rings. That allows the devil and stick for two. So. No, I don't think well, it's there. It's a little bit too much around the guard. Kevin can't see enough of that first one to make good contact with the second. So he's just going to draw to the button. Kind of curl just but enough. Had that stone there yeah. stayed in this position here and gone to the rings, and Kevin could have played the run back double for two. So now a piece of the four will give him the single as he faces two. So immediate pressure for the 91 Canadian champion. Kevin Martin with a record of 10 and 1 and looking to put himself into Sunday's final free and clear and avoid a semi-final matchup which faces the loser against Careful. Quebec tomorrow. Hurt. Hurt. It's Don Bartlett, Sean Broda. Out comes Hurt. Don Walsh. Okay. So it's two okay. Dons okay. and Sean okay. trying to get Let's it to go. the four. And there it is for the single. Excuse me, what do you think about the shape of Kellogg's Rice Krispies? I don't know, it looks oval. Let me put this grain of rice next to it. Notice anything? No. You may have noticed that they're both shaped like rice, because each Kellogg's Rice Krispies is made with a real grain of wholesome rice. Rice Krispies is made with rice? The heck did you think it was made with? What the heck did you think it was made with? You don't choose to have an accident, but you can choose your repair center. More than one million Canadians have relied on AutoPro, the largest network of automotive professionals. AutoPro Collision, a courteous reception. Professional repairs, qualified technicians, specialized equipment, and in addition to AutoPro's national warranty, take advantage of our deductible protection plan, AutoPro Collision. People you can trust. My dream house would be a big house with stairs that go like this and with a big chandelier. There would be a humongous horse I'd have the name for, and it would have a room for my pets. Rusty. His name is Rusty. To see how you can be home free faster, get expert help, the right plan, and guaranteed competitive rates, see your CIBC personal banker or call now. A thousand times bigger than this. At CIBC, we're working to see what you see. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. Time to set the Wayback Machine. The year, 1991. Cops Coliseum, the Labatt Briar, in Hamilton. And a showdown between Manitoba's Jeff Stoughton and Alberta's Kevin Martin. In that game, Kevin Martin scored two and then ran Manitoba through for a 3-2 win. But that was then, and this is now, that was V F G Z. See, that was before Curling's free guard zone, where now the first three stones in play are safe if they're in the zone. That was supposed to spell an end to the style of people such as Martin, but the Alberta skip has changed with the times, and he leads going into this quarterfinal, while Stoughton hopes that the machine isn't still locked to 91, but now turned to 96. And you know who this is, the man on the left? That's right. He was a Canadian college curling champion. Kevin Martin went on to win, of course, junior championships, 
A Canadian That's championship. Good. Halfway, it's good. And hoping now to return to the Canadian championship whoa, to the whoa, Ford whoa. Worlds in Hamilton. As well, we go to the second end, one nothing Alberta. With the one nothing lead, Kevin throws the rock into the okay, Steve, good. rings. Good job, Steve. Top of the eight foot on the center line. And Jeff Stoughton, the corner guard. The pattern we've seen all week from uh, Jeff said? Stoughton. Kevin, sometimes yes and sometimes no. And, and More so in the first five ends, though. He likes to take his chances early. Then a little more cautious if he gets a lead. Locked, eh? Locked. Locked. Interesting to track the wow. numbers of shots that these players play, whether they be interns or out turns, whether they be from the inside to the outside or the outside in. We'll be keeping track of all of those things for you, as well, of course, as their percentages. Okay. Too tight. Kevin actually called it to, to, to be a longer guard. That was good. Steve Gould, the younger, youngest player at yep. the Briar this year. Right. 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 years old. Fire. The ribbon off the center line. Sean Broda. And you can see the numbers in brackets, Linda, are what? Those are the number of shots they threw. In turn hits, he threw Great. 71. Out turn hits, 80. So yep. a pretty balanced attack there between oh, the yeah. interns and out turns. And of course, the others oh. are the percentages they got on those shots. On. Tried Better to roll shot. the cover oh. of the yellow one, but it rolled a little too far. It's a Manitoba chance to get the roll to the corner. Play bump. It's bumper weight. The numbers for Gary Vandenberg, the Manitoba second. Well, of course, Gary is left-handed, so his turns will be the opposite to the same player playing down the same path with the right hand. Come on, right up, right up. Really didn't have a lot of room, so they rolled it away. <coughs> Sean Broda. responded well to the pressure of being in the event his first briar with a very experienced team straight back normal's good terrific role as kevin martin told us it's a different pos position for him different spot second used to playing third skip more finesse shots softer shots now he has Hit. to play the up weight all right run through oh. Gary Vandenberg. Okay, that's good. All right. Yeah, it's interesting. Both these skips playing some little yeah. games out there. Kevin's going to guard this. Pretty Rock fast, just eh? in the uh, eight foot at the 11 o'clock position. Half in the eight, half in the 12. You'll see from those numbers how many more takeouts Don Walchuk plays than draws. That is the style of play for Alberta. Obviously, in this case, he's playing a draw. Oh, but when they curl. go to make the big shot to set up the end, Don will go for the hit and roll or the oh. double. Oh, then, right off. Is it in the house? Now we got no line, though. In too tight. All right. Sets up the double. <coughs> Normal? Yeah.
players, of course, wouldn't be in this position Ball. without those good numbers. They've all Ball. played well this Hit. week. Whoa, 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 whoa. This outside in shot runs pretty straight. Good. And Dresser just drives it by. It's a little piece of the 12 foot forcing Kevin to hit it. He had a very interesting round in the round robin, a uh, round game in the round robin. The uh, Manitoba got off to a three nothing lead and then relinquished that lead. And Martin had control coming home and failed to execute a tap back off the button, getting uh, right. just out in the win. Whoa, Don Walchuk. Yeah. Hard. Whoa. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Roll it. Look at that. Rolls it right back. Now the double. No hit for the double. Good throw. Not much Light. action eh, in the house, eh? No like. Just gotta catch this right on the nose. Driving this back. Ken Tresser, the two-time Manitoba oh. mixed champion. Oh. Yep. His final oh. stone oh. here in the second. Straight back, get them both. Shot, Ken. This important shot for Kevin, important that he hits and rolls to the rings. If he hits this on the nose, he is not in the rings allowing Jeff Stoughton to walk over and play the come around on that side. That is one reason probably why Kevin's playing from the inside a little bit easier to get the roll. Yep. Exactly. And again, hard. you really depend hard. on the takeouts. Plays a lot more than the draws. Hard. Right up. Oh. Huh. Okay. I almost threw my own turn back last time a little bit. That's oh. exactly what uh, Manitoba is looking for. The shot to last. chance to get around this corner guard. <laughs> Keep it in front of the T-line. They've had some problems with this getting in behind this 12 foot. And I was talking to Shorty Jenkins about it. He said, Ray, they're just taking too much ice. And he said that about here is where he predicts to get there. And we'll see how it works Throwing out with this the far ice. Over? That, uh, you guys throw in this far over? That's, that's what Jeff's asking. <laughs> no, earlier. If Mr. Jenkins is correct, he should be taking a little less ice on this. About to two to three inches inside the forefoot is what Shorty told me. So we'll watch it closely. First stone for the Manitoba skip. Jeff Stoughton here in the second. Good. Alberta oh, leads one room. nothing. Stay close. Yep. Manitoba oh, does have time. last run. Yep. Oh, we're Whoa. by. We're by. Tons of room. Tons, Tons of room. room. Lots of room. Yep, go back. No, he's by that by a good go six back. inches. Yeah, huh? more so, yeah. Kevin will be able to see this. And, and that uh, is exactly what, actually, I talked to Shorty about that just before the game started. I said, <laughs> Shorty, we haven't been able to get much into the 12 foot. It, it comes well from the middle of the four to the edge of the eight foot. He said, Ray, they're just taking too much ice on those shots. And that was a perfect illustration of it. He needed to have about six inches less ice and he would have got that rock in behind the uh, corner garden, didn't they? Wide open. Hard! Hard him tight. Real hard! hard. Tight, says Real Kevin hard. Martin. Clean. Yeah. Don Bartlett, Sean Broder. Oh. Hammering it all the way down. Great sweeping. <laughs> You'll see every time they sweep how much the bristles splay out because of the pressure on the brush head. They're really good sweepers. They take those stones a long way. <laughs> they actually let up on it at one yeah. point, didn't they? And they called them back on it. Well, that was the spot that went a little bit straighter earlier, but uh, I don't think it happened that time. They're really leaning on the brush head to get the pressure as well as the side-to-side -side motion. That causes the stone to go a little bit straighter, and that's what got it by that guard. That's it, boys. Made the skip look good. 
we'll bank the knowledge on that particular shot as far as the throw is concerned in case it uh, crops up again we can talk about it just out and through perfect weight but just did not have just did not have had too much ice Jeff. looking for the blank he got it So Stoughton maintains control of Last Rock, but my, my, they keep throwing the stones at each other. This should be a good one. Good luck, well, we man. expected as much, didn't we? Natural ability can only take you so far. Equipment counts for a lot. I'm always checking out new ideas. You have to to stay competitive. That's what I like about Pert Plus. Cleans and conditions in one step. No messing with two bottles. I get great results. No hassle, no fuss. Eventually, we all cross the finish. The winners just find a better way to get there. Pert Plus, great hair, no fuss. Now, an oil made just for your hard-working engine. 4x4 from Quaker State. Off-roading, extreme temperatures, towing and hauling. They all make your light truck or 4x4 work extra hard and could shorten its life. Why settle for a conventional car oil? Get 4x4 from Quaker State. Now, an independent test proved 4x4 superior to leading conventional car oils in protecting against deposits that can shorten engine life. The museum closes in 10 minutes. There's no toilet paper! Oh boy, here we go! Introducing new Scott Purex Extra. It's as pillowy soft and strong as ever, but now it's also extra long. In fact, it's a double roll. I'm coming, I'm coming. This Scott stuff never runs out. Scott Purex Extra. Soft, strong, and now twice as long. When back pain strikes, ordinary pain relievers often aren't enough. Doctors recommend Robaxacet. It combines two active ingredients. One to relieve your back pain. The other to relax your tense back muscles. Ask your pharmacist for Robaxacet, helping you walk away from back pain. Welcome back to Riverside Coliseum. The second quarterfinal of this, the 1996 Levant Briar here on TSN. As we meet the leads for Alberta, Don Bartlett, Steve Gould for Manitoba. The seconds are Sean Broda and Gary Vandenberg. Throwing third stones, Don Walchuk, Ken Tresser, and the skips for Alberta from the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton, Kevin Martin, and Manitoba, the Charleswood Curling Club in Winnipeg, Jeff Stoughton. And let's see that Manitoba flag. This, I think, well, that's Tyler, and this is Kendra, and they are the uh, children of Manitoba second, Gary Vandenberg, as we meet all the Manitoba families. And of course, with 24 championships so far, Toba is seeking number 25 here in Kamloops. And they maintain the control of Last Rock here in the third. Alberta leading 1-0. Well, a little opportunity just slipped away. Who believes Steve Gould? Alberta to the rings. Oh, if you can. Halfway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just up here. Whoa, if you can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. Good wait, Steve. Corner guard. Stop, Steve. Mandatory. Excuse me. Not three. He wants it halfway. So again, so. both teams showing some aggression, putting up the corners. So far, the teams have come back quite nicely to the center. It's up to the leads to get these stones in good position. Don Bartlett put his away. first one in nicely, okay. top four. Now he's got to Line's protect good. it, especially Tight. the center line wow. side, so the other team can't get the hit and roll behind the corner guard. Clean. 
Yeah, line's good. The difference that you're seeing this evening is what we've seen during wow. the week wow. is, is that not too tight. they're it's asking, tight. both Jeff and Kevin are asking for these guards not okay. too tight. All right. And and they're slipping in. Usually, uh, if you're playing offensive but a little bit, thinking a little defense, then you'll play them up a little tighter to the rings and let the, the uh, opposition make the double or whatever it may yeah. be. But uh, they want a guard. Kevin wanted that as a long guard, not a tight guard. They're sparring with each other. They're both uh, looking for the opportunity. Right. Jeff let a little one get away. Just a small one. He had a Whoa. chance to duck behind that corner guard. Yep. The goal get them both. No one, Alberta Stone will hang around. 12 foot at about 3.30. From Tim Zack in London, Ontario, what is the source of the granite used to make curling rocks and where are they made? Well, many of them are from the Elsa Craig, which is off the uh, coast of Scotland, and there is only one place in the world at the moment where they're uh, finding granite that's dense enough. If it's not the right kind of granite, when the stones make impact, they would actually crack. And also the running surface, the band on the bottom, if it's not the right kind of granite, gets moisture in it and little Just pieces wait. come out. It's called pitting, Roof. and then the stone will not Body curl weight. down the ice. Okay. It will grab the ice incorrectly, and it won't have a wait, smooth, close. consistent curl. Lots, lots. Okay. Lots of weight. Lots of weight. Well. Deep. Just so that you know, the teams, when they finish round robin play, choose their own stones uh. from here. They must choose a complete set. It goes first team first, so Alberta had first choice of any set out here. That. They chose from sheet C, yellow. Manitoba wanted to take also yellow stones. They were permitted to do that. They basically choose the granite, and then red handles are placed on the stones because, of course, the handles are removable. So they can choose the set of granite they like, the handles are put on, and away we go. All right, so where did Manitoba's stones come from? What sheet? They were from sheet B. And here all the stones have been very good. It's just, it just goes with what you felt was so good during round robin play. Right up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Far as I go. Far as I go. Gary Vandenberg right rubs right and okay. rolls in top eight. Plan B. Alberta can see it. Lots of movement there. Just through. Just through, just enough to push it through. Roll over into this area here. Out of way. Oh, then. Clean. Clean it. Lots of weight. Clean. Hurry. Hurt. 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 Sean Broda. Double in a roll. Gary Vandenberg. Hip. Hip. Hurry. Whoa. Yep. Well, okay. He'll drive it by. Yeah. That really moved on him, didn't it? Turn you on, throw. There is a lot of motion in the four-foot band, the center like stripe. Forward weight. Great yeah. surface. That's it. Good curl. That means that you can make quiet shots, get some curl. In this case, they're trying to cross the face of the red stone Board so weight. they don't drive it on the back yellow one. Board. Uh. Board weight, Don says. Come across the face. Keep a little flip in behind the guard. Hurry. Don Walchuk, oh. the first stone for the hey. Alberta third. Ah. Here in the third, one nothing, Alberta leading. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh. Look at this. Oh. Goodness. Oh, there's the site of the granite, the Elsa Craig off the Ayrshire coast. And they've been looking all over the world for more granite that would work, and so far haven't found it. Looks like a big curling rock, doesn't it? 
Sean Tresser. Oh, sorry, Kenny Tresser. Line's good. Lots of room. Line's Here's the good. draw now. Watch when it gets to the center line. It'll yep. break big time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seems yep. to it's got lots of weight. Oh, okay, if it's there. Right to it, guys. Okay. Okay, Ken. Good. Very nice shot. Now this is where the oh, game becomes interesting for normal? many players. Yeah. Normal? Those stones are at a good angle, okay. pretty close together, and it's very difficult to get rid of that red stone. But up steps Don Walchuk or even Kevin Martin or Jeff Stoughton with the big weight, and they can pound these out of there. Doesn't even seem to be that difficult for them. Normal. what you talked about before both of you called the complete package uh, his first one is more controlled weight gets the curl across the face and pushes out <laughs> the opposite way and here he comes with the the up weight Hit that little fuller. Hey. very difficult to get buried behind those two stones the yellow and the red so uh, Kenny's going to just asking Kenny to play the run through he's asking ah. how much can you see uh. Hackway, he's going to try and just see a corner of it. Uh, he indicated you're coming at the in at it from the center line. Hack weight. Can't see very much. Hit. All right. All right. All right. Gary Vandenberg closest to the stone. Steve Gould Come on. leading this front no, end. No, whoa, whoa. no. Okay, Ken. This wouldn't be a bad spot for it. <laughs> she can come around to here if she got wrong. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this isn't bad either. You could you can leave you can leave I can leave it wide open. This isn't bad. Well we we can leave them a double this way, but we can't we don't want to leave them that way. That was one of those shots that uh, Jeff had to make a decision on. He, he obviously uh, made the, the wrong one, but it's, it's a very one of those decisions that you don't know to the very last moment. Uh, he uh, he could have maybe got them off of it a little bit and it hit it a little bit thicker and gone rolled across the rings to the two stones at the back. Of it. But right up until about three or four feet in front of that stone, he really felt he was going to get a piece of it, so they brushed it all away. Leonard. Donnie Walchuk said to Walter. Kevin, we can leave it high, mm. leave him Definitely. the double Whoa, of those top two of the eight. top Whoa, eight, if that's where he stops. He doesn't Whoa. want to give him a double of those wow. two at the back 12. Whoa, Why? Man. He doesn't wow. want to get anything Whoa. built up hey. where it's hidden or in front of things. They don't mind leaving him an open shot. They don't want him to get one of his in behind because, of course, Al Manitoba oh. has last rock and they're looking for two still. Even though there are four Alberta stones in the rings, they're looking for two. And when you have last drop, you have eh? that confidence. Move These teams haven't had many ends bad. stolen against them in this game. Yes, 20 for Manitoba. That's on the four the side. They've yeah. stolen 20 times. Alberta has stolen 11 times, but both of them haven't let a lot of ends go against them when they don't have the hammer. So both of them are very aggressive when they have that last rock advantage, and both skips can hit the button just about whenever they want. The bad thing about this stone here is obviously, uh, for those of you that play the game, you know we slip behind that T-line. This allows uh, Jeff Stoughton to play a draw down on the face of it, like so. Just down to it. With that rock being in front of the T-line, Jeff would be playing some type of hit and roll, or at least a tap back. And it looks very much like he may have to draw with his next one. This is a nice time to throw a draw right here. Absolutely. As I said, they've had the feel all week, but it's nice whoa, to get whoa, it whoa, fairly whoa. early in the game I'm so good. that you can rely whoa, 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 on it if you whoa. need it with your last one. This is the first for the Manitoba whoa. skip. Jeff Stoughton. Oh, got to move, got to move. He has hammer. Close. One for the foot. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Got it. Beautiful yeah. shot.
It just shows you the respect they have, though. You could hear Jeff and Quarter Ken inch. talking about, we can't bump it, we can't bump it, because they know if there's any separation between their stone and the Alberta stone, Kevin Martin's going to come out firing and try and spill it off the face of that back rock. It just didn't curl. The weight was absolutely perfect. It just didn't uh, curl at the end for him. Uh, had it curled another three or four inches the now. Then he sits right in front of it, and this, uh, this peel shot is not possible. But you're right, Linda, they're very Not accurate yet. with this kind of weight. Well, you can see the uh, very small amount of ice that's being taken you know, on the inside of the stone on the curling turn. Yep, heart! Heart! Clean! Heart! Heart! Barbara right on! Rode up. It's by. Got them both. Spills everything. And it's three. Alberta line three, Manitoba with last row. Well, it got uh, to the point this week where teams were <laughs> saying nothing's safe no. because Kevin oh, yeah, was making scary, run backs, angle shots, scary. but you didn't even think you were that they were there. Again, he can throw the up weight. It goes very <laughs> straight with the up weight. It's a great weapon to have on those yeah. kinds of shots. <coughs> if you're in the opposition, you've seen it too many times. Yeah, that's right. The shot belongs now to Steve Gould and Terry Vandenberg. When you play aggressively, you must save the end. That was Jeff's plan this whole time. He's got no, the no, four no, foot no, open. No, 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 no. He knows he Top has four. to hit it with this draw. Yep. Good, good, clean. Clean, come on. Just touch four, guys. Easy, easy. Have a look. Touch four, touch four. Touch four, right. touch the easy. red for a single. In beautiful, it's beautiful ice to draw on, and everybody said it all week. The single point for Manitoba. Here in three, evens it up. Alberta will have hammer when we come back to the Riverside. Matt Breyer on TSN. This sports break is brought to you by Labatt Blue, the true Canadian logger. Hi, folks. Welcome to our Control Center. I'm Michael Landsberg. Jacques Villeneuve will start for the pole position for his first ever Formula One race. He had the fastest training time in qualifying today, and he starts number one. Damon Hill, his teammate, is number two. You can see it tomorrow night on TSN 9, 55 p.m. Eastern Time. Right now, NHL action. It is the Red Wings against Patrick Waugh oh, and the Colorado Avalanche. Yeah, Waugh with the good goals against average, and he'll need a great performance to keep him in it against the Red Hot Wings. Paul Coffey, kind of a half slapper, and Waugh takes a peek behind him. It's there. one nothing at that point. In the second period, Red Wings pressing for more. Fetty Saab with a shot. Darren McCarty is there to bang in the rebound. 2 nothing Detroit, and it's stands right now three to one Detroit over Colorado after two sports desk at 11 Pacific all of the scores right here on TSN take a break then get back to curling this is some soft dogs but yeah how far does the great prairie stretch well Jack all the way to the future site of the world's largest rodeo Canada's Calgary stampede home of Cowboys, Cowboys, Bronco Bustin, yeah, and another perfect gathering place where Canadian beer drinkers can celebrate with that true Canadian lager. And how far away is this stampede? Oh, another 200 years. <laughs> Here's to McCain from the tiny and the small. For McCain Jr. Juice. <laughs> is the best taste of all. McCain Jr. Juice from Superb Concentrate is just enough juice and deliciously great. So let's have a junior and drink from the box. Uh-oh, time to split. Here comes the fox. McCain Jr. Juice. The just enough size. Quarterfinal Friday here at the Labatt Briar in Kamloops. The semifinal tomorrow the championship Sunday. The top lead the entire week. Bert Inch from British Columbia. Steve Gold makes the top four. Seconds, Dwayne Mahalitz, Saskatchewan. Vandenberg ranked second. Sean Broad is in there from Alberta. In terms of thirds, Walt Chuck by three over Ken Tresser from Winnipeg. And the top two skips are on the ice here. Kevin Martin, though, by seven percentage points over Jeff Stoughton. There they are, the Alberta supporters of the Otwell Curling Club, Kevin Martin, Boyd Shauna. 
with a school bell, no doubt, from the Devon Daycare Center. One for Manitoba, evens it up. 1-1 one, one as we go to the fourth. Alberta playing Yellowstones oh, with Last Rock. When you get two good teams like this, uh, well, whether it be the Phoenix and the Howards and the, <laughs> you know, uh, the folks, all the top teams that have been so good for so Wait, long, it really is uh, entertaining to watch them kind of sparring uh, against each other and waiting for that big punch and, and uh, trying to outthink each Ooh. other. It's, it's, it's such a huge part of the game. and. You get on great ice surfaces wow, like this, wow. you and with tremendous oh, stones, nice you can really get confident. And that was a uh, illustration of uh, just out and feeling very confident about being able to go to the forefoot and save uh, save the end. John Bartlett wanted to say hello to his wife, Shauna, and family. Come whoa, whoa! Nice come around. Where's the weight? From the outside in. Mine's good. Right to the button. Yep. Now Manitoba coming back the other hard, way, trying hard. to get to the face of the stone. Hard. Right up. Hard. Looking to freeze it right on the face of it. Come on. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Okay, good. 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 Great shot by Steve. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's just great curling. I think the viewers too that have been with us for so long and have seen you know a lot of tremendous curling obviously but this this week is really another indication as was an, uh, the Scott Turner Hearts in uh, in Thunder Bay where when you have the really good uh, ice surface and the really uh, good stones it, 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 uh, it's just uh, amazing how the level of play moves up another notch and uh, we've seen it here all week. You can hardly wait to get out there when you're a player. You can just, oh. you just know you can feel it in your bones, and you can feel the, the stones underneath you, and you can just hardly wait to get out. Little bump, oh. and That's it spills off. off, sits back four. <laughs> well, we're definitely going to have some rocks in play, aren't we, Lou? <laughs> well, it's interesting that they're coming around the center line guard both ways. It shows you how great the ice is, that you can play either turn and get to the button. Just trying now to position stones, not to leave the big shot for either team. Lining them up so you can't get rid of your, the opponent's rocks, or getting good. rid of your rocks. You know, this building is wait. full, and it's, it's raining outside. It's very Little humid over. outside. It was oh, raining today, again. and it's absolutely jammed in here. So the controlling yeah. of the temperature of that ice surface is so... Vitally important. Come on, get a pass. Just for the corner. Come on. Mary Vandenberg, Come on. and the forecast is for warmer whoa, 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 temperatures whoa, whoa. Hey, both Saturday and Sunday. This building that seats 6,000, the Riverside Coliseum, home of the Kamloops Blazers, two time defending Memorial Cup champions. Pack. Well, it's not how uh, Jeff wanted to set it up, that's for sure. Kind of wait. Playing it a little more quietly because they need a little bit of movement, so hack weight, but trying to get rid of the red stones. Oh, stay close. Yep. Sean Broda. Oh, oh, lots of weight, lots of weight. He's trying to get things oh. moved around. Shot, John. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Early numbers on the battle <laughs> at second, Broda and Vandenberg. <coughs> Tap this a bit. <laughs> He's going to stay at it, isn't he? Tap it over into the pocket. Brushers right now. Come on, hurry! Right A up, little right, up, right up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Whoa. Hey, Gary. <coughs> Gary really got it going in the middle of the week. He struggled at the very beginning of the week, but um, the last uh, six or seven games, he really uh, got playing well, playing the way that uh, you know we've seen him play before. <laughs> Now 
Again, a quiet it. tap back, trying to come to the inside corner, right. the center line side of the redstone, and get a little bit of a roll. Gonna need it. No, oh, wait's good. Wait's good. No, lines, lines not so. Mm. Like the weight? Don't like the line. Oh, we gotta get to the nose. Not bad. That's not bad. We got two directions we can go at it. It's all right. <laughs> well, I just know that they're lining these up for the kill at some point, and it's whether or not Alberta's gonna have a chance to drive any of those yellow stones. There's two now in front of yeah, Shot right Rock. So you know Jeff Stoughton doesn't want to leave them in that position. The Manitoba third, Ken Tresser, and his first oh. here in four of a 1-1 one -one tie. Oh, for line. No, oh, no, no line. No. Alberta with last rock. Lying one, two, three, oh, maybe four. And all the rocks are in place so far. Have to. Hey? Because then he's got nothing but. Well, it's just back ringing. Yeah. Yeah, just keep pumping these things back. Yeah. What else? Huh? What else? Either that or. Oh. Yeah. You don't like the bump, eh? That's gold. Don't hit it. That's gold. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Don't I don't care. Me. Back line. You want to play that? That's fine. This is all right. Well, Kevin talked about this one, and Don Bartlett came down and said, that's gold. Don't touch that stone. He, Bar Bartlett was looking back over in here. I don't back, think that's a shot. Weight. But they're just going to play to come down here on this one, try and move this back here a little bit, and go over here. Don Bartlett told Kevin that center line one eight-foot yellow stone was gold protecting shot stone yeah. they don't really oh. want to rearrange things that can be used Whoa, later man. well no also if you don't uh, get it uh, arranged properly or punch it back right then you'll set up uh, the Girl. possibility of leaving a, uh, a pocket for uh, yep. the problem with these is they're oh. really hanging out uh -oh. not worked out not badly they were hoping to get as ray showed <laughs> us a little bit of the inside the center line side just amazing though, all the rocks in play. They're just rearranging them, trying not to set up the doubles. Every rock like, is in uh, play. Hitting the top one? Mm -hmm. Top center line? Top eight, yeah. Kind of wait. I think I go normal. I don't think we can get in there with the intern. See that or come around it. They're talking about hitting this one. Back on the ground. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't think you can. Trying to wait. Bump. Bump. Okay. Bump the weight on that center line one. I'm gonna go after that top yellow one. You can just see it, <coughs> top eight foot. Straight back is a good shot too. If they hit it straight back, it's not too bad. If you jam it though. Ken Tresser in a 1-1 tie. Alberta has hammer. 
nice shot got things opened up a little bit that redstone now is in a dangerous position top eight mm. foot that yeah, looks a little better now eh? <laughs> this is the shot that linda was talking about this shot's in a pretty good spot you hate to leave this you hate to leave this red one here too yeah <laughs> yeah. If I could hit and flop here, uh, if any. But they got the whole pocket. He's got the whole pocket back here. Yeah. Yeah, right to nail now. it into. Hey. What's up? He's, He's got, got the yeah. whole pocket right now to draw yeah. into. That's not where. That's just where we're just worrying about two, right? Yeah. I like this right here. That's probably the best way to guarantee us our dues, right? What do you see? That's what they're playing. I do believe. He doesn't want to touch that redstone and move yeah, it out of there just a bit? Well, you he, he heard Don Wolchuk say, I don't like leaving it there, but. The problem about hitting it is they wouldn't be able to hit and stay in that, that same much? spot because it would jam it on the shot stone. They'd roll away and then they'd leave an opening for Manitoba to get into that four foot area. Down to the pocket. Now Don's concern as he was throwing, do you think it'll four. curl that wow. much? Wow. wow. Back four. Okay. It's still back four. We'll try it now. Okay. Oh, stop eight. Line's good. Keep going. Good, good, good. Well, good. it sure curled that match unbelievably. Catches the top of the four. Well, it's exactly where um, <laughs> Kevin Martin had his brush. It's where he wanted it. Right exactly where he wanted it. Like that? Or do you like this one? Yeah, off that one. Yeah. What kind of weight? No? There's a hole, eh? You like that? This way, or do you want to just try that? That's pretty skinny. What's that? Onto oh, the six. Yeah. Okay, we'll try that. Are you still playing hit? Happened. Yeah. The discussion is this. We could do that They're too. going to play this stone here. I'll just clear it for yeah, you. Yeah, if we can get this one back here, it'd be good, eh? But yeah. what, to, how to play it? Do I play it and drive it back into here? Not pretty a couple hard things can happen. You might you hit it there. You come off of that one in that way. It's a bit more, Ken. Kenny Trisher said, no, let's just tap it back. And that's what they've decided to do, trying to move it into this area here. Tap. Like even with edge of four, you're not racking on that guard. You know? Yeah. Like no, but it's think, too far. You know what I mean? No, but I mean. Yeah. No, that's fine. What we need, we need to over curl here, but I doubt it. You can yeah, hardly. No, uh, you can hardly walk in there. Never mind. Uh, yeah. I like the choice of weight here, though. They'll have a little more control with the no, brushes no. to get it at the right angle onto Wolf shot stone. Line. Close. Jeff Stoughton, first Whoa. skip stone. Close. Has to, hit, has to hit it on the outside a bit. Oh. 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 And look oh, at oh, that. Oh. Is that something? And do they appreciate it here in this building? You can just hear them. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. This is fantastic. You've got every curling rock in play. Let's get it behind there. Come right through there. Ooh. Come right through there and bump it back. Yeah. 
Hit it absolutely perfect, Linda. Nice angle onto the button. Hit the hole. Just another day at the, at the office. I was yeah. just going to say that. He yeah. might roll off. Stone cold. Huh? He'll have, if he hits that, then he might be lying too. Why so heavy draw? Yeah, peel a guard isn't that bad a call. What's he do if you peel a guard? Guard again. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You Let's want. do this. Let's just bump it back. Hey, peel a guard ain't bad either. No, I don't mind that. Okay. Tough. Kim's going to come right down to this one here, through the hole here. What do you guys think of this? Nice shot. And just tap this one Rattle back. things around, you never know anyway. <laughs> try to get through the hole. Just, weight doesn't really matter. What else could John Walsh try to throw do? Back we just turn around, Linda, yeah. and say... Nice shot. Yeah. That's what makes the game so great, Vic. They really, all these players uh, right across this country have a great uh, appreciation and admiration for Pretty each fine. other. They know the, the oh. skill level that's involved Whoa. to make a shot like Whoa. that. And oh. Stay close. You know, Kevin Whoa. Martin's Whoa. just going to fall it down, oh. try and Whoa. tap it back. Has to move a little bit. Just yep. sat there. Yep. Trying to get the tap now. Oh. And right beside. Okay. They got it surrounded at Manitoba is the stone in the middle. Well, if we had 20 stones in this end, we would have 20 stones in play. It's only 16. Well, well you can tick, off, tick the five. If you squeak cigar, tick the five, seven, it would probably come right back. Eh? Right down it? Yeah, I guess we should go right down to it. Even if we tap it a little bit, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, yeah a couple inches. Yeah. Look at the stone. You heard the no point is telestrating. Well, Jeff was worried about those stones right there, those it. yellow ones being able wouldn't to be, be driven if, yeah, back be bad onto if the red one. An inch, just to get it behind the other ones. So now he's trying to basically protect. Plus, if he comes into that area, it's going to be really tough for Alberta to get near that button. You're right, and he's just going to come down. You heard him say, he might just touch it a couple of inches. Uh, if I sit in front of it, fine, but if I touch it a couple of inches and then get it in behind the yellow, then it's going to be impossible for him to get it out. Final stone for Manitoba. The word Stay impossible close. with Kevin Martin Mine's is good. a oh, word that line. doesn't, oh, uh, <laughs> you don't use very Stay often. Close. He always seems to find it some way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, it's got to move, it's got to move. Yep. Hard now. Alex Cools and Brandon Bird right down on top. Just tap it a little bit. I can tell you this rock will be coming down in some fashion. Half a rock, eh? When we talk about the way teams generate points, there's been all quiet shots till now, but Kevin Martin and Don Walchuk in particular rely on the big hit. I don't know if the top one goes out now that he bumped his back. But now what's the problem to get one what's, What can he get here by doing this? Well, he thinks he can hit the half a rock, jam it onto the red one, and roll the other red one across the face of the yellow and get it out. Okay. So I, m my first suggestion is to move the people in the first four rows back here we go, and it is on his way. Oh. Final stone. Half a stone. Bang. And what do they got? One to get. All that for one point, Vic. Tough way to get one. Huh? I don't think we can get to. Oh, you don't it. Oh. 16 stones. And what do you get? <laughs> One. Yeah. Oh, I tapped that an inch more. Reed Steele. Kevin Martin, Jeff Stepford, putting on a show. Hey, what a show! Another <laughs> inch. <laughs> 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 
Imagine hearing the call of the road, not the road itself. Imagine the world at your fingertips. Imagine an automobile so precisely engineered, it feels as if it were formed from a single piece of steel. Imagine a choice of sedan or wagon for the same price. Introducing the all-new 1996 Mercury Sable. Could you imagine anything better? Imagine yourself in a Mercury. Maybe you think only those jet set types need a Nokia cellular phone. Hi, it's me, Flights Delayed. Well, now Nokia's making cellular phones so easy. Late, late. Can I skip my bath? They're practically child's uh -huh. play. Attention, Flight 11 is delayed. Uh, can I call you back? With Nokia's big, easy-to-read screens, last number redial, and sleek designs. No, don't hold dinner. I'm eating my body weight in hot dogs. No, wait up. you got to tuck me in. So get set to join the Jet Set. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America. Connecting people. There are cuts being made to our country's health care system. And the fact is, you're going to have to take better care of yourself. Healthwatch is one way to do it. Healthwatch is the number of services we're offering that can help you look after yourself and your family at no extra cost. You'll hear more about it over the next few months. And when you do, listen to what's being said, because it's important and it can help. McCain Cane's Potatoes in the crispy, bite-sized taters. New McCain Cane's Potatoes. Bite-sized taters, crispy and golden brown on the outside. Crispy, so they lock in all that tender potato flavor you love. We love the crispy flavor in our bite-sized taters. New McCain Tasty Taters in crispy, bite-sized tater flavors. Cheese, regular, or Cajun. Here's the flavor in our bite-sized taters. New McCain Tasty Taters, crispy flavor in a bite-sized tater. Well, 15 stones in play as uh, Kevin Martin threw his last one. Last time we saw that was in Thunder Bay. Cheryl Coleman, Alberta, against Ontario's Marilyn Bodo in their Friday night quarterfinal. And this is what we saw there. She at least had one on the 12 that she could come across. And look at that. Still the shot of the Scott Turner Hearts. Maybe the Scott in women's curling in a long time. And this is what Martin did with his. Bounce it off, across, and it just caught that other yellow stone too much, or he could have possibly got two, but he'll settle for one in four. So we go to the fifth. Two to one, Alberta head of Manitoba, the team from the Charleswood in Winnipeg does have oh, last drop. Sorry, Steve. Go down. It's starting to dig pretty good, though. By itself. Well, that okay. was really a very, very interesting end. It was... Uh, the positioning of stones, uh, you, could, you could hear the, the thought in both the skips as they uh, sure. placed the stones in, in positions that uh, they hoped they could use them later or wouldn't put them in a position that was going to cause them any problem. And when you see curling like that, it's, uh, it's really fun, uh, obviously, for us to cover it and for you to watch it. And for them to play yeah. it, too, Lindsay. Oh, mm -hmm. it's, it is. They, it's they love it. Very interesting oh. for the players as well. And you think back, if Jeff Stoughton right. hadn't made that last one perfectly, you could see what Kevin Martin can do with the up weight. He can move him around so well, so Jeff's shot was just fabulous as well. If you think back to the comparison we did earlier in, the, in this uh, game, uh, the game they had in 1991 where... Uh, uh, Kevin Martin got the great roll to get two in the first end, and then just uh, like he couldn't get anything into play after that. And, I just hit it. and uh, what a what a like uh, contrast! That was a good split, by the way. Getting both those stones on. Steve oh. Gould. Good. Nice hit on second shot, so Manitoba has the two. Now it's up to Alberta to try and bring <laughs> them close together, group the stones, get a hit and roll or a double. Well, they're obviously letting us down this end. There's a rock out of play. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sean Broder, the native of Melville, Saskatchewan. Ironic. Sean and Sean Walchuk both come from Melville, Saskatchewan, but 
That's not the reason he was asked to join this team. Nice shot. Dead in the house, eh? Oh. Yeah, I've been noticing that's what uh, Don Walchuk is referring to. When the first draw came into the button area, it really stopped quickly, and these rolls are not seem to be like getting the, the same action that we've seen all week. Now, we'll have to keep track of it, but it could be with the heat in the building, the ice is a tiny bit softer. We did see it a mm -hmm. couple of evening draws, Ray, you mentioned it, where the rocks just don't go as whoa, far. Whoa, 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 lots of room, guys. Lots of room. It's a huge crowd. It's uh, standing room only. There. Where is he? Always uh, good. I it a bit. Always oh, fine. Looks good. Looks good. Nope. Looks good. Nope. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Gotta be careful, eh? It just dies at the end. A little bit of frost out there, they're and they're just... Uh, huh? When you leave yeah. them, they just die quickly. And a half. That's what I got in that. Normal? <coughs> a lot of frost over there, I don't know. John Broda was recommended to Kevin Martin by their fifth player, Jules Oucher. Oucher coaches both Sean and his coach Kevin for more than a decade. Jules wanted to say hello to the Dean at the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, Reg Hodgson, and wish all the best to campus sport and the wellness department as you see him sitting on the aisle in the Alberta jacket. He's the coach and fifth player for this Alberta championship team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Line's good. Line's fine. Line's fine. This is just a Line's great good. example of Manitoba tending to play Why more of the draw hurry? shots and Alberta trying to get rid of them playing more of the takeout shots. Hurry. It's really Come the on, style guys. of these two teams. Right Manitoba up. really going right up, for their right two right here right and up, setting right it up right with up, the quiet right shots. Right up. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice it at lead because obviously uh, both leads are throwing uh, more draw shots. But as soon as you get into seconds, you'll see the difference. How many stones they play as draws. Alberta only at 26% at Stuff. second, whereas Manitoba's at 40%. Right, and right board. down the line, thirds and skips. Manitoba tends to go for it with the draw shots. Alberta steps up there. the end, but then plays the big hits and rolls and doubles. Power against finesse. But maybe not. Maybe not. More to wait. Don uh, talking to the front end, saying, I could make a double there, but uh, Kevin's just playing the hit and roll. And stone on the button. Hurry! Hurry! Whoa! Whoa! Hurry. Whoa! Got roll behind cover. Shot. We can go here. Normal. They had a look at playing the come around, but have decided to try and move shot stone now. Ken will be asked for the hit. He'll try and roll off the red stone over behind the corner. Hit! Oh! Ball Stay close. Hit! Hard! Free! Okay. Will we get the roll? Okay, Not very Wait. much. <laughs> Boards again? Yeah, that's that same spot you made the roll earlier, remember? Boards, yeah. We'll hit and roll behind the redstone. Shot. 
Each team gets 73 minutes to play their respective Quiet. game, plus two one-minute timeouts. What's that? Important to get these Quiet. rocks separated, hit and roll over there just where Jeff put his brush. Manitoba has last rock. The hammer here in five. Alberta leading two to one. Third the entire week. Well, unfortunately, he didn't roll far enough because Mr. Martin has a chance at a double here, and that's exactly what he's playing, so he'll come down with this one. Again? Oh, sorry, Ray. No, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> you go. <laughs> I was going to say, the Alberta Stone is second shot. He could hit shot stone and just roll in front of his own and protect. This is the difference when you have this weapon, the big Whoa. wave hit. Now, get one. And behind the other one, he kills his own, matter of fact. Damn it. No explanation needed uh, on that. He threw it hard and maybe a little wide. <coughs> Did it too thin. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's make them even. You're always aware of uh, <laughs> the fact that the doubles are, are so Ken. easy for Kevin that you want to make sure that you get these uh, two stones uh, even so there's no possible double. He hasn't invented the way to jump it across yet, uh, <laughs> Linda, but I'm no. sure he might. It might be the next Top step. Eight. That's right. Jeff Stoughton works for Air Canada, oh. and this is his first. Oh, stay close, stay close. I wonder what, in, with such concern about making them even, they nice shot. Well, the only other thing is they have talked a little bit about frost, and you can sometimes talk yourself into things. If you think it's a little bit stickier, not as lively in the rings, you might give it a little extra in your delivery. Really, the weight's uh, close to being the same. You just have to watch the brushing at the end not to lose the stone as it slows down. Make sure we hit this stupid thing. Yeah, Kevin just came out of the, uh, uh, the I'm sorry, uh, Jeff just came out so so strong and he knew when he let it go that he'd overthrown it. And it wasn't even close, it Clean. went almost with the hack. Clean. Clean. Hurt. Yep. Hurt. 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 Good. I'm waiting for the lines. I'm just going to take left side. So Stoughton will draw against three. <laughs> <laughs> All the eyes Let's are on. Let's go with the intern, Ken. Let's go with the intern. You want Just out. As he needs full eight. Piece of the four with his final stone here to even it up after five. Just out. Just full eight. It's interesting. We saw Prince Edward Island in a tie-breaking game this morning. Peter McDonald curled 94% to beat Newfoundland to claim the fourth and final playoff spot. Wait, good. Stout will need all of Mine's his good, 90 yeah. percentage Mine's here good. as he Mine's draws clean. against three. Clean. Just clean. Just clean, guys. Full eight. Good job, Joe. After throwing his first one through, this one goes to the back four to <laughs> even it up. We play five. Manitoba, Alberta are tied 2-2. Two -two.
We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. I'll have the chili. Chili? You should know better. And I'll have the fries. Fries? You should know better. And now I'll have Tom's Ultra. New Tom's Ultra is our highest strength ever. It goes to work in seconds, neutralizing stomach acid to relieve heartburn and indigestion fast. And unlike many antacids, Tom's Ultra has calcium. Something your body uses anyway. You'll like that. I'll have the chili. I know, I know. I should know. Tom, 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 Tom. No. That was a good party last night, though. Down in history. One. You were on this for a long time last night. Who'd you call? Just for fun, who'd you call? I called everybody. Yeah. Everybody here, yeah. everybody back home. Everybody what? back home, I gave them a call. All right, you gotta go bank up on your phone bill. Yeah, I hate to disappoint you guys, but uh, you should see the deal I got. Yeah, and only three numbers. Uh, you know all numbers. Introducing a long-distance plan that makes sense. 25% off all calls, anytime, anywhere. So why, are you um, special or something like that? I'll tell you why. It's because I because I spent over 25 bucks a month. That's oh, really? Why. Yeah. All right, so can you call Hong Kong? Yeah, I could, I could call Hong Kong. Now, did you call Hong Kong there, Cheesy? Did you call to Laura? Oh. You did, didn't you? You called Laura in Hong Kong. 25% off all calls anytime, anywhere, including overseas and calling card. Call 1-800-806-1166. You know, where there's a spark, there's a flame. <laughs> laugh, laugh like you will. Nice talking to you. Uh, <laughs> it's out there. Esso Supreme 92 Octane. For a cleaner engine while you drive. A smooth feeling of power. Esso Supreme 92. Unleash the performance. This ends a wonderful week here at the Labatt Briar at the Riverside Coliseum in Kamloops, British Columbia. A lot of credit. A lot of thanks go to some wonderful volunteers headed by the committee chairman, Claire Ryan, and he's with Linda. Well, Claire, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you. This has been a wonderful event. We've enjoyed ourselves very much. You must be very proud. Yes, we're very proud. Uh, our volunteers all have done an excellent, excellent job. It couldn't be better. We have 1,600 and some volunteers. This is Kamloops, cities behind us, the sponsors are behind us, everybody's here. CCA has been great, Ice Maker's been phenomenal, TSN's been great. What can you say? It's really super. What more can you say? But you've had some special things here, too. You've had a wonderful briar patch. We've been over there and had a look. Every host committee does something a little different. What is, what's been special this year for you? Well, I guess that briar patch, it sure, Gary Myrtle's put in a great, great deal of effort on that thing. We had quite a little fun time with that uh, parking lot. First of all, we had to, uh, we had it paved for the for this very event last fall, but they paved it in up so that the water would drain off it. So we had to refill it and level it and repave it, but that's all part of the game. Well, again, congratulations and thank you. We've had a wonderful time and your committee's been very good to us. Thank you, that's what they're here for and that's Kamloops. Thanks very much, Linda. Well, that patch, yeah, 2,500 people under the big top. Look at the beer sold. Meals, well, they start cooking at 6.30 in the morning, and they don't stop until 1 in the morning. They've got 108 television sets, the bars, beer. And yeah, well, you know, you need something special. And so I asked for the latte bar. And you heard Mr. Ryan talk about the wonderful ice. You bet, under the direction of Shorty Jenkins, Hans Utrecht, the ice has been spectacular, hasn't it, Ray? Well, Vic, uh, Linda, we're about to venture where no curler has ever gone before. This is the ice technician's room, and we're going to go through all the equipment. In the corner here, we have the deionized tanks, the jet ice we're using here. Hooked up, of course, to the heater tank at the back. Two pebbling cans, you see the pebbling head. And then take a look at this, it's like a 
medical operating room, all the pebbling heads, the thermometer to, uh, what they do is they will use different temperature for the pebbling water, and the, uh, there's two pebbles on the ice, the cooler is on the bottom and the warmer one on the top. These are all secrets. These are made by the ice people themselves. It's very secret things. All the ice makers are like chefs. There's recipes and they keep it to themselves. The obvious tools that you need to work with the stones. As we move over to this side here, you can see this is the, uh, the gun, the heat gun, that they test the temperature of the ice, the temperature of the stones. Once again, Shorty and Hans, with all their equipment, the stopwatch, they are continuously using the stopwatch to regulate the speed, They'll change the pebble. They keep track of every sheet. This is the book. They keep track of all the sheets, the temperatures for all the draws, the temperatures of the stones, all registered. They work each night. They talk about it. They'll change it according to the size of the crowd. All the notes, every running surface of all the stones. This is truly an art, and these two are the very, very best in the world at it. And the artists have created a canvas for these players and a perfect picture. We played 5-2-2 Manitoba, Alberta, as we go to the 6th and Alberta with Last Rock. And remember the importance now, the winner... I goes right through to Sunday's final. The loser will hook up with Quebec going, on going. Westfall Saturday afternoon. What? Linda? It's been a great game. If you want to call another category saves, well, the teams have been making their single points with last rock. Saving ends in some cases, so there's no steals. If you look at the number of shots, in the numbers in brackets are how many shots were played. For example, Alberta draws only 16, whereas Manitoba 26. That's the pattern. More hits for Alberta, more draws for Manitoba. And wonderful numbers for both teams in the 80% range. Great shooting so far. Wait. Seems to be a common denominator. Gary Vandenberg. This tight's good, guys. Come on. This tight to the house. Looks good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. Whoa, whoa, okay. Sorry, Gary. My sweet bin. Good. There's the example of what Vic was talking about earlier. Sean coming from the skip position, now moving to second, had to bring the up weight with him. Nice peel. It's a skill. It's not an easy shot. Yeah, you look pretty light. Line's good. Line's good. Come on. Come on. Right up. Right up. Oh boy. Shot, Gary. Oh. Well, the total attendance is nearing 116,000. Expecting more than 120,000 by the time it's over. Yep. The record is 151.5. That was set in 89 in Saskatoon. Good. Congratulations, uh, Kamloops. You've done a wonderful job. It's almost like they're taking a little breather here, Linda, after a couple of pretty exciting ends. 
No, it is really interesting. Actually, I looked back as well at the Alberta scores, and I tried to see how they'd made out over the course of the first half of the nice game because I noticed they were more aggressive in the first half than the second half. Looks and good. in every game that they won, they were ahead Looks after good. five ends. The only game that was tied, that's it. where they were tied <laughs> at the fifth end break, Pick end was good. the Manitoba game. So this is, although a little bit different style, it's the same sort of game as far as scoring. <laughs> The Canadian curling reporters, all-stars, the first team, Kevin Martin, Don Walchuk, Dwayne Mahalitz of Saskatchewan, Bert Hinch from skip to lead. Presented by Safeway and voted by the Canadian curling reporters. The second team, skip Don Westfall from Quebec, who's through to the semifinal, Ken Tresser, Sean Broda, and Rick Perrone, who was the Ford Hotshot winner this week here in Kamloops. So those are your two all-star teams voted by the Canadian Curling Reporters and presented by Safeway. Well, Kenny Dresser slipped into the rings. Uh, Jeff Rudy wanted to just uh, a foot or so in front on the center line and it gave uh, Alberta a chance to hit and roll behind the corner guard, but it just rolled a little too far. This is Kenny Dresser's last shot in this end. And it's all tied up at 2-2. It's amazing it's only a 2-2 score when you consider all the rocks we've had in play. Exactly. Yep. Hey! Hard! Right up! Right up! Oh. Right up! Boy, they just got that by. Terrific brushing, and they're strong brushers, Gary and Steve. They're very, very strong with those brushes in their hands. Shoot Ken. Lots of pressure, lots of movement. You can see the little frost uh, build up, just a little frost on the outside, and that's caused by the humidity, the warmth inside the building. It's nothing serious. It's not causing any effect. But you just have to be aware of it. Room. Ron Walchuk. Clean. Wow, room. And then they made a good point, too, Vic, when she said that not one draw that uh, Jeff Stout wow. threw, you know, they had just talked about the frost a little bit, okay. and sometimes you plant something in your mind. So far, in my opinion, and you can keep your watch on it, and I don't think it's really changed the weight at all, has it? I got it hard. It's not much. That one timed at 13 seconds between the hog line. Normally draw weight is 13 and a half, but that one did come a little bit farther than the T line. So it seems to be very similar. Probably the one thing you can't do is let the brushers take it quite as far in the house. You have to make sure that you get on it early if it needs the sweeping. We'll watch it on the outsides of the sheet, too. That was down the slide path area. Middle of the forefoot. Jeff Stoughton trying to defend the Canadian Championship won last year by Kerry Burtnick. And then the World yep. Championship at the Ford Whoa. Worlds in Hamilton. His Whoa. first here in six. Whoa. They close. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa, 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 yep. whoa. Good shot, Good shot, Jeff. Notice the weight, uh, just the control <laughs> weight. From Rick Maloney in Bracebridge. Now, since the moose is a royal animal, does Ray prefer Sir Moose, his royal mooseness, the Duke of Moose, <laughs> or simply Ray, <laughs> Lord of the Moose? <laughs> Any of the above is fine. Notice there was no get right back to it. Mickey Moose in there. <laughs> yeah, that's more appropriate, probably. Had fun with the moose, let me tell you. Well, Kevin has a couple of options here. He's elected to play the freeze. You saw them attempt the come around on the corner guard in the stone in the 12 foot. They didn't get a lot of movement, so they've opted now for the open freeze. Freeze it. Mine's nice. Hope like lots. Kevin Martin's first. He has the hammer. Ah. Ah, 
He can come soft at you, and he can come hard at you. Here's the soft release, just so softly out of the fingers. And that, in all fairness, going back to 91, and the game change and the rule change is something people thought he could not do. Actually, it was uh, said about many teams that played that open style before the free guard zone rule. Of course, Kevin had the skill back then as well to play the up weight, but he skips have to be able to draw and we've seen them do it many times well it was interesting enough if you go back to that very year uh, that same year that you're referring to the team that uh, nobody thought could draw was david smith and he's adjusted to the change as the instant of scotland he's uh, back at the world championships this year playing third for warwick smith and uh who's a young new young up and coming curler in, in uh, scotland but everybody thought that all that david smith could do was hit and he was a uh, advocator of the change of the rule in Scotland. They went a step further to the four rock, which I, How much? I, I don't like as well, but that's, you know, that's my opinion. That's quite there. Um, yeah. But uh, you're right. There was a lot of teams that uh, they thought couldn't adjust to this, but uh, Kevin Smith, there's so many that can now play it all. One's not Tough real you. good in the six. And I find Tough this you. interesting. Now there's well, that stone, the red like stone, okay, that okay. great right shot, really. Out in what we say is maybe a little frostier, and that one will present the problem for Martin to possibly blank here. Well, the good thing is he has to hit it on the outside because he can't see all of it, and if he does, he's going no, to blank it. The tough part is it's not all visible, and it's a bit of a risk to go for it. Now, as we look down right. this sheet, is that where you see the shiny on the edge towards the left? Is that, in fact, what you might describe then as the frostier? Well, that area has not been played, so there's been no breakdown there, so the pebble's still pretty high. There's frost, Clean. probably a little frost inside oh, the pebble. Right but uh, it hasn't seemed to Clean. affect the weight at all at this point. Well, nothing's going to affect the weight here. My goodness. Leave out a corner. He sees it. He takes it. <laughs> Steve is saying, you don't miss many of those, do you, Kevin? No, I don't, Steve. I'm pretty good at that. 2-2 two, two well, after a blank and six, and Alberta still has that hit. last rock. Back to the curling in just a few moments. Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Landsberg. Welcome to our Control Center Sports Desk at 11 o'clock Pacific Time. All the NHL highlights. Two Canadian teams playing. Let's take a peek at the orders against the San Jose Sharks. This is a big night for Edmonton. First period, Tchaikovsky finds Dean McCammon. He's one-on-one -on -one with Jason Moore, and he snaps it. Boy, he used the defender perfectly. 1-0 beating Terreri. The orders gangbusters in the third. Up 3-0. Miranov finds Ryan Smith, who beats Terreri as well. 4-0 for the orders after two, and it is now 4-1 in the third period to play. Meanwhile, the Maple Leafs went with high hopes into Hartford and got pounded. 7-4, never really a contest. They were down 4-0 before they had even looked up. Again, all the highlights on Sports Desk at 11 o'clock Pacific, and Jacques Villeneuve will hold the pole position for his debut race, the Australian Grand Prix, tomorrow night. We'll see you on Sports Desk at 11 o'clock Pacific here on TSN. Be part of the tradition. Make Calgary your point of destination and attend the 1997 Canadian Men's Curling Championship, sponsored by Labatt Breweries. The Briar forges goodwill, where new friends become old ones, and festivities give you a lifetime of memorable moments. Ticket packages are available from Ticketmaster or by calling the 1997 Briar Society at 1-800-549-1997. My dream house would be a big house with stairs that go like this and with a big chandelier. There would be a humongous horse. I'd have the main floor and I would have a room for my pets. Rusty. His name is Rusty. To see how you can be home free faster, get expert help, the right plan and guaranteed competitive rates, see your CIBC personal banker or call now. A thousand times bigger than this. At CIBC, we're working to see what you see. The 1996 Labatt Briar is brought to you by CIBC Trust, your will and estate planning and investment management professionals. By Unitel, quality long distance for less. And by the Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. Okay. 
Say hi, Grandma. The gentleman on the right is Mark Bond, who has been acting as our television assistant the entire week, keeping us refreshed. And that's his three-year-old daughter, Kayla. Hello to Kayla, and thanks to Mark. As we go to seven of a 2-2 tie, Alberta maintains control of Last Rock. The Alberta lead, Don Bartlett. Well, it's been a classic, and uh, the whole uh, building is waiting for something to explode here. There, someone pounce. The short guard out in front, and the come around by Kevin Martin. Don Bartlett, a little deep. Completely covered. Whoa, whoa, so now whoa, the come whoa, around whoa. with the other turn, trying to get it buried. Good line. Yep. Got room. Lot of room. Lots of room. Yep. Come on. Come on. Parcel go. One of the things, Dick, that you can tell when the ice right gets a touch right softer and there's a little, very small amount of frost built up, you can tell by the sound, <laughs> you know, of the brushes uh, on the ice surface. Next weekend, we'll be in Red Deer for the Karcher World Juniors, the men's and women's finals, Saturday and the Sunday, the 16th and 17th. Isn't that something, eh? Ten years ago, we went from Hello. Kamloops to Red Deer, and How's we're doing it again Close. now. I remember that trip very well, Mr. Hey, Router, Hello. in the snowstorm, yeah. and you behind the wheel. You were very silent hey, in the yes. back of the van, <laughs> yes. I remember. I was terrified, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> no, it's there. The, gray, the, the buses, the Greyhound buses were not going through. <laughs> And Mr. Router, with his little black clubs on, <laughs> just said, we can get He's through there. this pass. Shift into low, and away <laughs> we go. Well, that stone was supposed to be in front of the red one again, in position that it could have been promoted back. Now it's wide open, and Manitoba can make a play on it, get a little roll. Gary Vandenberg. Whoa. Yep. Hurry! Oh. Hurry! Hard, hard! <laughs> okay. From Kerry Wilbur, Moncton. Can you measure the stones to check for shot rock before an event, an end, pardon me, is over? No, the only time you can measure is to see if one of the first two stones at the end is in the house or in the free guard zone area. You check that to know if you can play it as a hit or if you have to ignore it, not remove it. Of course, only oh. we can measure during an end with right Lucy's Accu gauge. That's right, we can, they can. Getting out a wee bit. Sean Broda. It's not bad. Okay. Is that a skip trying to instill some confidence? Not bad, or is that not bad? Well, we don't know what the combination was. Normal. Was it the thrower, or was the ice uh, too much for the shot? So it's, uh... And the not bad is Alberta has last rock. Mm -hmm. The rocks that are in the opponents are behind the tee line. They can come to them. They still have a guard to come around. It's nothing drastic right. yet. Hey! Come on! Hard! Hard! Okay. Good. Actually, that's better for Manitoba to get them uh, not so spread out. They're great brushers, these two. Steve Gould and uh, Gary Vandenberg. Maybe the best here, the two rushers. Front end for this Manitoba team. Sean Broda. Lots of weight. Okay. Bumping. Playing the come around. A lot of weight. Coming to the back ones. Hey, we don't have the one at the yet. back four foot. If they come to it, they would be shot rock. Yeah. Okay. Steve say, come on, Jeff. 
You go from the sublime to ridiculous there. Jeff is not known for his brushing power. <laughs> Down with her. Mind you, I've yeah. never met a skip yet that could really do anything with those brooms or brushes. <laughs> that includes You're you, by the way. You're staring right at me That's when right. you said that. That includes you. <laughs> My team would agree. Ken Tresser. The first of the third stones the here in seven. Good line. Whoa, whoa. No line. No, no, just let it die. Let oh, look it at die. that. That's good, Ken. That came, but good. not enough. Too much weight? Well, the weight was pretty close. can see that this game has been so interesting with all the angles being set up earlier. It's it's a bit of a string. Like this? Trying to outthink each like other. This. Trouble with tapping this one back. There. Tapping this one here back is that Jeff, uh, Jeff will be able to come down and sit on it. What do you like, Donnie? This is oh, the other boy. call they're thinking about. Here? Yeah. Okay. I like this one better. What do you want to do? What's you like? Bumping it back? Or just draw here? I like this. I don't know. Whatever, whatever the right shot is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think, Glenda, of the games that you've had to play, the 11 games through round robin? Now they're into a game like this. It's a marathon. Room. It's an endurance room. test. A lot of room. Physically. Way mentally, out. way out, Bring it back. and uh, there's still for both these teams potential Curry, of it's got some. one or two games left if you got that far. No, but they're up for this game. This definitely caught something and stopped curling. And Don puts lots of rotation on his stones normally, and it's just uh, you can see it's not uh, rotating at all. It definitely <laughs> caught something. Ah. It's nice. I was sliding out too fast. You don't like the intern? His indication is that, that he like may have uh, thrown it flat like that because no. he said he drove out of Can't the hat too fast. One. And sometimes when you do that, then you have to take the weight out of the stone. And when you do that, you take the handle off the stone. And that was what he said. But it's wide open now for Manitoba. And Ken Dresser. Not at a hundred anymore. Just go a little bit far. Tap it back a little. You can hit and roll. Just playing it very quietly. Yep. It's good. Heart. Heart for line. to also come back with a soft shot and he did it beautifully. Oh, great shot. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great shot as Kevin said. Perfect little roll. Forces Jeff over to the wide out turn now. I do yeah, what he did here. I was sliding out too fast and then I played with it. Eh? Sorry. I flicked it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, the first one. Yeah. Like back. Yeah. yeah. No, slide right into the frost. Slide no too fast. Yeah. I had to play with it. As soon as it hit that frost line, she just yeah. the handle stopped and done. Brutal. Brutal throw. Ended up the right weight. Thank goodness. Hey. Yeah. Helped us a little bit there. Perfect explanation. 
And that rock is buried. Perfect roll. First skip stone. Manitoba's just out. Other than one draw, he's had this draw weight in his pocket. That one draw may have cost him, did cost him an extra point. Not may have. dangerous but it's probably the only way we're going to get two yeah plus he's mm -hmm. got he's got that option to get us out now too they're right? the best right now i think we gotta move that too yeah okay the piano keys there anything? even if we hit the double and roll out the top it's not the worst yeah let's go with the intern though intern that out i don't like that out okay no? Playing the double, getting Matt coming right across onto the stone here. You see it gets bruised in the end. Oh, nothing else. <laughs> now their main concern is they can't leave that red stone top four foot. It can be promoted onto shot stone. Manitoba would dearly love to use it, so Kevin's going to try and get rid of it. Wow. Hurt. Wow. Oh. Close, wow. No. I didn't turn this. It just sat there. Not bad. Get on top. Hmm. That's interesting. This is very tempting well, for Jeff as well. Start, I guess, eh? Yeah, I can't get that two over there without losing this. Yeah. Okay, discard. Guess we want to block off this path, eh? Yeah. All right. Just a guard. Put it here. It's kind of tempting. It rolls a little bit more. I tell you, he'd be, he'd be taking the, if the angle's just a little bit better. He would be taking a long, long look at it because he can throw them up to just a guard. very, very well with that uh, upper weight as well. Yeah, he's got this one right now for two. Yeah. He wants his guard to the right of center line, protecting the yellow stone on the edge of the forefoot. Trying to take away all of Kevin's options. Second. He's got a curl off. Stout. good. Got Alberta a curl has the hammer. It's got a curl. Come on, get it over. Come on, keep it going. Fires will go. A little more. Come on, hard. Fires will go. Come on, right up. Okay. Good. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Got nothing else. I don't think that two comes onto the edge of the five, does it? I don't can't afford to try it anyway. <coughs> no. <coughs> no. It goes across the top, doesn't it? Yeah. Jeez, that's close, you know? They're just looking at this this rock here, the two <laughs> rock. <laughs> nah. Nah. That's darn near lined up for a pile, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> No? You think it goes across the top, do you? Looks like it. I don't know, it's close. You see, this is the rock that they're wearing. This is the one. He said it's going to go across the top of that. Give he said, well, is it? it? it they hit this uh, one here. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, I'm this one. But got to get through that hole, too. Uh-huh. Red Rock will cross the top of the back one, so you got to get through the hole first. So he's trying to get two by drawing to the edge of the button. Oh, he has to come around crossed. the guard and really Locked get a room, lot of movement. Room. Yeah, 
No? That was a very tough draw. Okay. One yellow sitting on the edge of the button. Alberta gets that here in seven. Yeah, he's hey, looking. I don't know. It might have went across. But I don't I'm not know. Sure. I still think it could have gotten a pile. Right. It would be three, two. three. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. A pretty important invention. Just try living without it. But sometimes it just doesn't leave you feeling clean enough. Maestro, let's demonstrate. See what I mean? These are new Cottonelle Moist Wipes. You use them after you use this. And they leave you feeling cleaner. All clean. They have soothing aloe and they're flushable. So if you want your family to feel fresher, cleaner, just better, this is one invention you won't want to live without. New Cottonelle Moist Wipes. Advanced personal hygiene from Cottonelle. I'll have the chili. Chili? You should know better. And I'll have the fries. Fries? You should know better. And now I'll have Tom's Ultra. New Tums Ultra is our highest strength ever. It goes to work in seconds, neutralizing stomach acid to relieve heartburn and indigestion fast. And unlike many antacids, Tums Ultra has calcium. Something your body uses anyway. You'll like that. I'll have the chili. I know, I know. I should know. It's been two weeks. What do you mean? I mean every day for two weeks. Every day? Every day. And it's good? It's very good. Two weeks, huh? Oh, yeah. What does your wife think? She thinks it's great. You should try it. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Good. They're talking about Kellogg's All Brand. It's very high in fiber. Make it part of your complete breakfast for two weeks and see how you feel about it. How do you feel about it? Good. You feel good. I knew that I would. Kellogg's All Brand. Try it for two weeks. Love it forever. Alberta with the 3-2 lead after seven. Stay with us right after this game for the TSN Turning Point. Brought to you by Super 8 Motels. We deliver great quality, time after time. Same, Same with, with Super 8. 8. Every room is comfortable. And roomy. Super 8. Super 8. <laughs> Life's great at Super 8. Support here. Who would think being right next door? What is it? About a six, seven hour drive from Calgary yep, keep going, through keep the going. Rogers, clean. Golden, Rebel clean. Stoke, and on down through Salmon Arm into here, Kamloops. Six or seven hours for the average driver, not for you. That's right. <laughs> Clay Ricassoni. He must have been your favorite at one time, Dick. You being Swiss and he being Swiss. Well, yeah. mine's good. Well, I, no. my favorite was still no. Jill. Jill, nobody could, uh, nobody oh, could handle a car like Jill Rona. So that's all. It'll be interesting to see tomorrow no, Jacques' debut in Formula One in Australia. Oh, well, maybe it would. Yep. Come on. Okay. Keep on turning. That's good, Steve. Well, there are the numbers after round robin play. We've had two blank ends in this game. That would, of course, add to the total. But this is just for round robin, 84 blank ends total, 119 stolen ends. We haven't seen any of that this game. Wins with the hammer is always a little bit higher than wins without. That's the hammer in the first end, and those last rock advantages are worked out in right advance there. to try and give equal numbers to all teams. In Alberta that had last rock. And this game leads now 3-2 as we play eight Manitoba to have hammer. Oh, oh. Well, it's kind of a change in strategy for Jeff. I thought he might throw up the corner guard in his eight ten and try and make a big play for the deuce, the control point. Nobody's been able to get it yet. And a double here, you could lie too. Well, Stay with it. Yep. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, Steve. Good. 
I'm not sure Jeff thought that was going to spill far enough. And it is the Manitoba Stone sitting first and second. You were questioning his brushing power there, were you? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> well, he sort of looked casual <laughs> about it, that's for sure. Sean Hurry. Broda. After following along with us across the country, these two teams really put on a great performance this week. Kevin Martin, as we mentioned earlier, 10 and 1, and just out at 9 and 2. And, and uh, all week long, they just uh, curled the, the storm up. But Jeff was a little slow getting started. Lost his first game to Quebec, good. but then just got motoring. Nice brushing. Yeah. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Slipped behind the T line, but they had to brush it to get a bye. And this end is on now, too, Linda. Here we go. That's right. Alberta can't make a play on those rocks. They're going to come and freeze on top of them or sit top four foot. I'll be interested to see whatever team loses here. Wait, good. And has to go into the semifinal against Lots of weight. Quebec and how they respond if the well, mental and physical oh, challenge of this no. game is you know, like in some no, ways so. like hockey when they well, first round of playoffs you Hurt. battle and bump well, no. like, really knock yourself out to get to the next round and then you've seen so Sorry, many teams Sean. not have anything left and I'm wondering I'm if the loser here might just be on uh, suffer a little bit of a letdown. I don't think so there. I really don't. I think that that's the one uh, beautiful thing about our sport is, I mean, there's no question those Canadians <coughs> work their hearts out there, but there isn't the, the physical injury to the body to start to separate it from the other sports. And, uh, I think it's, uh, it, this is a game that uh, you want to win badly under the page system. You know if you happen to lose it, you're, you're playing in the semifinal. Uh, I, I don't think it'll have any effect. I think whoever wins this, uh, loses this game is going to have to play their, their hearts out tomorrow because Quebec is a tough more. team. Okay. Good try, Gary. Talked about the page system. These were the first four. The winner of this one goes right through to Sunday's final. The loser plays Quebec, who were 7 4 winners over Peter McDonald of Prince Edward Island, Summerside. The winner then on Saturday goes well, to what Sunday's I, what, game well, what to you determine there? the champion. 12 teams started last Saturday here in Campbell. What, like throw a double? Now the form chart was so right hit, on. Hit their top red one? Yeah. 10 and 1, 9 and 2, 8 and 3. Yeah. Tom Molchuk is playing a race here. He was talking to the front end about the weight because they wondered if, if it's a little bit stickier, if he needs to Wayne. add a little extra to this rock to play the Hurt. promotion. Hard! 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 Hard, guys! This one's really curling. Hard! Well, well. Mm. Certainly more so than Kevin thought it would. This is a golden opportunity for Man the Manitoba Forsen right now. We like through, uh, through house. Just well, quietly come down. Get the front, you'll probably split them in. That's not bad. Pushing the stone this way, just house weight, trying to roll into this it's area through. here. These are what we call and refer to as the soft shots. And the soft hand is Easy. Ken Tresser. Yep. Whoa. Close. Whoa. 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 Yep. Whoa. 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 In the skip 
was right. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely shot by Kenny. <laughs> he panicked for just a moment, and you can see Gary laughing. Well, we'll see how much room there was. <coughs> oh, that's lots of room, isn't it? So it's never thing. close. Never. <laughs> yeah, that's well, that's a yard in big side. Yeah. And it's again, you pointed out before, just enough to do the job. Well, Kevin recognizes the problem here, and he's going to try and run these back. Got a few of those red stones. The big reason is that the red and the yellow are overlapped, so it's yep. not uh, the yellow that can't be used, so he's going to have to get this opened up. Those are our record, 5.69, something like that. Not as fast, wow. but it does the job. Good shot. Still not out of the blue oh, here. No, we're, <laughs> oh, we're still in huge trouble. I really like the way Don Walchuk worked with Kevin Martin. I haven't seen Kevin uh, look as relaxed uh, as he has this week for a long time. He really does, uh, Don really fits fits like a glove into this team. He's always been with him or into that position, and this is what I should say. Yep. Walchuk moving up from second to Hurry! Our third. Hurry! Just before their playdowns. Hard! Hurry! Hard! 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 Come on! Right up, guys. Come on. No, 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 no. All right. Hey, good. That's just amazing. They had in the fourth end a number of shots that came down that area, and they were very straight, and suddenly we're seeing a yeah. great deal of movement, especially as it gets near the center line area. Perfect weight. He had perfect weight. That, that was the worst thing you could do, of course, was open it up. Can we guess or surmise that it's a result of the heat in the building and changing conditions here it's possible and now they were drawing to sit two. manitoba looking of course to score the two at least with last rock good, eh? kevin has that an open hit good, here it looks like he might oh, even yeah, be able to make fun. double to sit four just got over there so fast got to the center line too fast you just say can you can he throw it right oh. up oh oh Got it by, and look at this. In two stones, all the reds have disappeared. Well, he might get that nickname that you gave him earlier in the week, Vic. Still in big trouble. The magician. Well, we're not in big trouble. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't get two, but, yeah. but again, in as Ray points out, he, Ken Tresser doesn't open it up. He doesn't have that available to him. Yeah, that was, uh, and uh, those are hard ones to take, and as curters, Linda can you know, very well tell you that you throw it well, you have the right weight, and you don't get the results. Those were the ones that really hurt in the stomach, and you heard Kenny Dresser, he's a very well, he does, quiet yeah. control guy, but he said, gee, I threw it well, and he said, he sure did, and back. he had perfect weight. Must, eh? last. That's what the game is, though. That's what this game is all about. Jeff Stoughton with his first. He does have a blast good, rock, the hammer here in eight. Come on, Alberta good. leading 3 Come 2. Come on. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, sorry. Wait only. Hey, line's good. Whoa. Line's real good. Whoa. 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 <laughs> They were even before, remember? Yeah. Either that or just freeze. What's that? It's frozen still. Gotta afford to be heavy, a little bit heavy yet too, right? Because this will just, you know, it'll stay right here. Okay. Huh? Yeah, it's hard to blast out of there. Yeah, well, you know, you got to help with the freeze, so. Okay. Here? He had about here, eh? Yeah. No, but he's a little wide. If he can't blast it out of there, then can <laughs> it be blasted out of there, Linda? No. Okay. 
something that impresses me about Jeff Stoughton. I mean, he could have been uh, terribly disappointed and shown it his frustration at Ken Tresser's stone. Uh, but, boy, full credit to him. He sucks it up, comes back. And because it's a team game, says, I'll put one. I'll take us out, boys. I'll put Ryan Rees weld one right to the corner. That's what it's about. And as I mentioned, when you have last rock and you take a few chances, some things might go against you. It did. Jeff came back with a great freeze. Yep, hurry. Oh, okay. Yep. Caught something right out of his right hand. Right out of his hand. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is it? They want to make sure they don't raise the red one in. Wow, wow, wow. Geez, I hate that. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that, I, I hate that. I hate to see that my, myself. It's, did it raise it far enough? I think it did. I, that, I hate to, in a game like this, I hate it's to see that. Eh? An open shot like for that three. Yeah, he hits this just on the nose for three. That's really sad. What, we'll watch it closely. Right here. And it yeah, goes right to the right center there. line now, right there. It just went right to the center right. line. Yeah. And it has Martin looking. Well, or die, one or the other. Yeah, well, you know, it just barely made it. Yeah, sleeping doesn't right. add a lot of weight. three got and what a turnaround he got this outside a little bit Wayne. it's good thing he's got it wow. me quietly beautiful way yeah wow you can see me let it go bump it back and there it is and just when it looked darkest for Stoughton and Manitoba they take advantage and they score three are getting rougher and the chores are getting tougher good thing there's the all-new 1997 ford f-150 choose from the most powerful standard v6 in its class or the remarkably fuel efficient triton v8 it has the largest box and v8 payload on the job and an all-new suspension that can tackle the tough terrain after all the ground's not getting any softer the all-new 1997 ford f-150 strength after strength after strength we make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. Maybe you think only those jet set types need a Nokia cellular phone. Hi, it's me, Flight's Delayed. Well, now Nokia's making cellular phones so easy. Late, late. Can I skip my bath? They're practically child's uh, play. Attention, Flight 11 is delayed. Uh, can I call you back? With Nokia's big, easy-to-read screens, last number redial, and sleek designs. No, don't hold dinner. I'm eating my body weight in hot dogs. No, wait up. you got to tuck me in. So get set to join the jet set. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America. Connecting people. Out on the ice, I don't score points for how my hair looks. But after the game, in front of the press, when the cameras are just inches away and millions of fans are watching, my hair has to look great. And great hair can't have flakes. No way. So I get rid of them with head and shoulders. It keeps my dandruff in check and my hair looking great. Hey, you can't hide under a helmet all the time. Head and shoulders every day. With great hair can't have flakes. What you're seeing is how you'd be breathing if you'd taken an original, extra strong, Fisherman's Friend medicated lozenge. Seafaring men have relied on them for over 100 years for relief from coughs and sore throats. Fisherman's Friend original, extra strong, medicated lozenges can even make nasal passages feel clearer so you can breathe easier. So for coughs, sore throats, even nasal passages, try Fisherman's Friend medicated lozenges with over 100 years of effectiveness.
Well, this is a question from uh, Glenn Robinson, who is working in our VTR department, and this could apply to that stone. What happens if you intentionally burn your own, knowing it was going to do yourself some damage? So in this case, realizing that this stone had caught something and the potential was there to raise in a Manitoba stone, could the brushers have just kicked it and burned it, and what would have been the penalty? Well, what happens is uh, the officials would come out and you try to place the stones where they would have gone if you hadn't touched it. When you burn a stone, you're supposed to let it continue through. You're not supposed to stop it. And then you see where the rocks would have ended up. Well, if somebody actually does stop it, it would be up to the officials and the non-offending team to determine what would have happened. That would have been a really tough situation. And just not the gentlemanly thing to do. I've, I've only seen it once in my entire life. And I've been playing this game for oh, a number of years. It just isn't something that uh, yep. cheating isn't part of our game. It's, it's it's just not part of it, and that would be cheating. Hurry! In most cases, they say intentionally. Hurry! Most people whoa, 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 whoa. just oh, touch things because oh. their equipment or oh, sure. uh, their feet get in the way. Somebody right. slips. That's what happens, Better and that does up. happen. And stones do get touched, Crazy. but intentionally, I just don't ever see. And the question was intentionally, and I've just uh, I've seen it once only, and. Uh, So Alberta forced to try and come from behind here in nine. Well, yeah, we do sure have last round. I'm not sure that person is still living. <laughs> Don Bartlett. Lots of room. I think it needs it this time. I hate to see that. I mean, that was just a horrible break. And then you, you hear Curtis talk about bad breaks and just things didn't go right. And that was one of those things that was a double whammy. I mean, having it pick something is one thing, uh, but having it pick something and raising, and raising the rock uh, in so you have a hit, your opposition has a hit for three is really. Now they can go up and peel off the guard. The yellow one's in pretty good position. Oh, no, no. Manitoba doesn't want to leave the guard oh. on it. Well, just clean, just clean. Oh. Good. Good here. Good boy. The guard. Well, the guard doesn't do any good. I'm trying to decide where to put it. Protect no. the stone or make a play on the red ones. Oh, yeah. Put it real tight right here, I guess. It's waiting bad. Time out. Time out. Time. First or two. One minute. How do you want to play this? Hey? How do you want to play this? Oh, well, I don't know. What do we. We got to. I think we need a guard to get two, right? Obviously. Well, we don't need one, but... Yeah. We can try a couple guards and see what happens. I, mean, I don't know. That's kind of tough. Tough shot. Huh? We could lay it in the crotch. Yeah, that's not bad either, you know? Or just tight, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. We'll try and run a double a and jam one spot. or something. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. I don't know, what do you think? It's better? Yeah, uh, whatever. Well, I think it's better than going around the back house. There, the time is in now. Sean Broda. Anywhere else. Line's good. <laughs> Come on, freeze, come on. Right Line's real nice. Come on, right up, right up. Oh. Shot, Sean. That's a good spot. Welcome to our uh, area where we've watched the curling world this week here in uh, Kamloops and the Riverside. And 
We always make predictions before this event begins, and this is what Linda had chosen. This was last Saturday, Alberta, and then you thought Mike Kennedy with his fourth appearance, and then look at this. Ray went with Manitoba, just Stoughton, and Quebec was his dark horse, and look at New Brunswick certainly not to be found, but uh, Quebec is. <laughs> you did have it in Thunder Bay right yeah, on. Yeah, let's though, remember <laughs> last time in the Scott Tournament of Hearts. And, oh, sure. <laughs> I'd already <laughs> forgotten two weeks ago. Just a little tap it back. So we knew that Manitoba would be playing hits with these. To get rid of one of them. Vic, you were Alberta talking about how the loser of this game would go into the semifinal. Well, if it is Alberta. The one thing you do worry about with the mental side of the game is this bad break. Gonna There's nothing girl. worse than that like to kind of deflate okay. the team. If they happen to go on and lose this game, they'll have to really get together afterwards and talk about what's happened and prepare okay. themselves for the semifinal. Not too bad. Well, it couldn't have been worse. That was just a horrible break. Yeah, you see lots of rocks catch things over the course of a year and even the like course that. of a briar, but you rarely see it have such a bad effect. Yeah. But away. It's a marvelous game. game. It's up for grabs. I mean, it's, it's still it's, the game's still on. Absolutely. And Kevin can get uh, two here. It just it doesn't mean it's over. It just means that it certainly went to the control. Certainly went to Manitoba. Hard. Hard. Clean. Manitoba third. Ken Tresser. Good. Lots of rotation from Kenny. <laughs> what about what if we tap that red and split those and just rolled over? Yeah, but the yellow's going to be so close together. He's got. Well, I was well, just I like thinking they can get some separation. No, if the loser okay. here isn't out of it, of course, they yeah. get the second chance against Quebec on Saturday afternoon with the winner then going on to play the winner of this game. Now that raises just that whole debate up. about whether the page system could be enhanced a little bit, changed a little bit. You know, Kevin Martin said to you the other night uh, Ray in fact you know what would have been nice is he finished first free and clear of everybody shouldn't the okay, bonus fine, for good. doing that Clean. give him the trip Out. through so then what in effect the page system becomes Out. is four against Close. three Clean. and then three against two yep. and it gives you the equal number of Out. games wow I, I personally think Out. that's the way it should be that's how I feel Out. about it well whoa, whoa, whoa no roll but uh, we have to remember that Marin Bodeau uh, won the okay. round robin in Thunder Bay and and she oh, yeah. lost her game to Cheryl Coleman and uh, regrouped herself and came back and beat Connie Laliberti and then beat Cheryl in the final. I mean, so uh, this one bad break uh, isn't going to no. isn't going to take you out of the tournament, out of the bonds bill. Out of this, you still have lots of life left. A new day, and it's not over yet here. Ken Dresser. Yep. Yep. Martin get his two points here. Oh. Tied up coming home. All they can really do is try and rearrange things a little bit, get those rocks off the four. Right. We leave them a double? Uh, not if we do it right, but okay. Yeah, let's just watch what happens. Yeah, if we can hit nose, line it onto this one here, as long as you bumped it to there, we're good. Right? As long as the one's got come to about here. Okay. All right. So just, right. just kind of wait. You're not going to be able to get that one out. Leave that one alone. Right on the nose. Shoot our other one. If he just hits it right on the nose. I think I am, yeah. man. The rock won't be that big. This will come here and just push this one after he hits this one. 
this way. And oh, the shoot. other one to there. And then he'll have two sitting right there, frozen. <laughs> Backline weight is what he said. <coughs> well, he's, he's a different guy by his own admission through maturity than he here. was in 91. That's yeah, one thing. Here. But he's much different, too, as Ray points out because of his association now with Don Walsh of the third. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hurt. Yep. Oh. You want this yep. right on the nose now with Heart. back line Heart. weight. Oh. Heart. Oh, off, off. Off. Oh, come on. Oh, that's perfect. Very nice shot because it lines it right up. Great shot. <clears throat> It was a good call, too, after Don threw the perfect weight. Of course, they had to get on and off the brushes to hold the line, and Great did job. that very nicely. <laughs> we'll come straight back, almost. Be, yeah, they're frozen dead. I don't think you can afford to hit them. They're on this side. It'll get half a rock. I don't want miss that one, though. Kenny thinks if you hit it on the outside, you'll get half the back then. Oh, we should just draw. You could just freeze the angle, freeze uh, one of the stone or just rearrange their angle a little bit. Yeah, Kevin definitely tapped those red ones around because he thinks the lineup is such that the yellow ones won't go. That's why he played it right on the nose and pushed the red one back 12 foot so that the angle, even if it hits the one in the four foot, it'll jam Close. on the back 12 foot stone. That's what he was doing with all the tap backs. I think I can get it out the top. What's that? With peel, six out across the top. Yeah, you hit on that side, you're gonna jam. That's the one yeah, he's talking about. I'm really just trying to get rid of one right now. Should go away, eh? think it would go? This one? I don't know. It is Wait, frozen. Uh, hey? What else are we doing? You don't think you can put a oh, stone in here? Come in here, I guess. In this area here. We'll go here. Okay. Ultimately, those yellow stones will be what Martin and Alberta will play. Is that what Manitoba is trying to take away well, from him now? Pretty. Well, Manitoba has to take a couple things away because remember think, the weapons that Kevin yeah, Martin brings to the game, the big weight. Might lose they both can't the position anything, shooter, so there's a triple. Like if three. they put it just in front of shot just stone, Kevin might be able to blast the red ones out. And yes, they're trying to also take away the promotion possibility on the yellow. So as Ray showed, a little bit of an angle would be nice on this shot. Jeff Stoughton's first. The Manitoba skip Open here in line. nine. He leads Line's by good. three. Come on. Oh, if you can. No line. Got a curl. No, line's good. Yeah, bring it in. Come on. Hard. Come on, hard. Hard, hard, hard. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good brushing, guys. Stopped a little shorter than they wanted. <coughs> he was just playing the uh, guard on the uh, on the sh shot stone. Yeah, move this. We've got to move this back. Line, eh? we line gotta, knees up. Yeah, we got to move it. Back. We got to move it even out. Uh, well, out of the 12 foot. Yeah, yeah, totally out of the 8 foot. Eh? Because we want this thing to be good enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Will we have shot rock? Uh, hard to say. It'd be close, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, <coughs> rock. Yeah, we'll be shot rock. <coughs> Probably. Back. Okay. Okay. Uh, in turn. Right there. Just yeah. through the house. Wait, so we got to hit it. Well, we just got to hit it off and it'll angle up. A little angle up, yeah. I want to get three here if we can. Let's well. see here. Okay, they're going to hit this stone. But you'll move that stone right onto that one. Isn't really? it better to hit it this way? Well, I'm going to try to go across and they the face. Move yeah. this stone here. Slightly. Okay. Like 12 foot. Yeah. <clears throat> Where'd you have that? Here? 
And they're also going to try and go slightly across the face. So the yellows are lined up. So they would jam back, back again line. on shot stone. At the moment, the one on the T line. So again, angle so critical as well as perfect weight to tap the red to, one far uh, enough. Go across the top of this thing a little. Very tough shot. Trying to leave Manitoba. No opportunity to get rid of these yellows. They just set up so well, you know, you don't like your two up, uh, you don't have last rock in the ninth inning, oh, you wow. hate going they up close. guards, but uh, wow. they close. Jeff really right didn't out. have, I don't think he had a lot of option, wow. I think if he hit it, he would have wow. driven it straight back. Come I'm going to know, the angle goes back Come on. on. And they wanted this one to curl to the other side of the stone. <laughs> Is the triple lined up? Or does it miss? <sighs> Ken Tresser's having a good look. It's gonna jam, eh? It's gonna hit this. This is what they're looking at here. What do you think? Where is this stone gonna go? Is it gonna catch this one, the corner of this one, or is it gonna jam back okay. onto that one? That's what they're trying to work out. What's he got now? He's got the straight back, I guess. Yeah, he's got the, the, the raise for three, so we can't leave him that. Just got to hit it. Now, if you move that Yellowstone top 12, just biting the eight <coughs> to the other side of the other Yellowstone. So the angle was slightly different, not lined up left to right, but the other way, it would go back on shot stone. Jeff Stoughton wouldn't have this shot. That's what Kevin Martin what was that? trying to do with his last shot. Double mock. Double mock. The angle was just not quite right. Hair too much ice, eh? He just hopes it doesn't jam. That's what he's hoping. That's double, right. double guard it. Yeah. He'd be happy to give up a deuce here if he had to. <clears throat> doesn't want this one to jam. Yeah, but if we don't get one. it, if we don't get it right. Yeah, time out. They're talking about, of course, the fact that the redstone is still in the forefoot area. They don't want to make a big mistake here. Well, we're shot. But They're talking about the guard now, too. They can play the long guard. Well, we'd have to guard here, eh? Good shot, yeah. I don't think you can raise it in for a shot. Because if I knew it was going to hit this one, I wouldn't be worried about it. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. I hate to give him a straight back for three. Uh, I should hit it. Looking for. Should hit it, eh? Think so? Think he'll hit it? Should come back. I think if you just stick it and go on to this one. He's still got a shot for three. Ah, I still like that. So he's going back to his original thought. <coughs> All said and done, he still likes that. What, do you, what does Kevin do, though, if you do guard it? Like, yeah, let's look at the possibility. What has Kevin got? Has he got the red under the two yellows? He has the red guard but onto he, shot stone. The red guard, yeah. To, to, kill, for, uh, to kill them both for three. It lasts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You have to overlap the other guard. Oh. Oh. Jeff oh. Stoughton's last. Well, we'll a little bailing here. We'll see where it goes. He liked this right from the beginning. Oh, he's happy with that. Oh, I can't believe he did that. And his parents appreciate the fact that the most now might be two. So an opportunity here, draw for two for Alberta and a tie game and Manitoba would have the hammer, Last Rock coming home.
for the tie right after off. nine. Clean, hurt. Don Bartlett, right, yep. Sean Boda. the signal yeah. and we're all even four to ten a big part of the season of champions is the Canadian Airlines International draw to the button contest which starts in local clubs and the eight finalists compete in the national championships. Last week in Thunder Bay, Karen Hulls was the champion and winner of two tickets that anywhere Canadian Airlines flies. Canadian Airlines also provides the second prizes for those in the Ford Hot Shots. Psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, dandruff. Symptom, persistent, itchy, flaky scalp. Solution, Neutrogena T-Gel. It works. Neutrogena T-Gel Shampoo. At first glance, this strut looks like most other struts, except for one important feature. Only UAP Napa struts meet the top quality standards of UAP Napa. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. We're not quite sure what to call it. But everyone seems to have it. The desire to go somewhere. The urge to do something. Bell Mobility salutes the spirit in all of us that makes us want to move. Where you want to go is your business. Letting you go with confidence is ours. Because gravity should be the only thing holding you down. The only way to go. Bell Mobility. Owning a home today in this economic environment. This home is the one we're going to stay in the rest of our lives. I think you feel very fortunate if you do own one. When we think about renewing our mortgage, we're not that great at it. That's what we look to the bank for, because you want to make sure that you make the right decision. To see how you can be home free faster, get expert help, the right plan, and guaranteed competitive rates. See your CIBC personal banker or call now. We'd have a bit of a burn burner when the mortgage is paid off. At CIBC, we're working to see what you see. Karcher Pressure Washers. Blast away dirt and grime fast. From your car, boat, patio furniture, bikes, your deck, barbecue, eaves troughs, and recreational vehicles. Just about anything. Karcher, the fast and easy way to handle any top cleaning job. To say the very least, it has been a battle. Manitoba, Alberta, Alberta first at 10 and one. Manitoba nine and two, meeting in this the second quarterfinal on quarterfinal Friday here at the Labatt Friar. So we'll go to 10 to decide it. And Manitoba and Jeff Stoughton will have last draw. Whoa! Hip! Hip! Whoa! Well, the first rock is in the free guard zone area. And now Manitoba trying to move it off the center line. Kevin Martin's going to sweep it so it hits the bumper. If it does hit the bumper, it'll come back. Did it touch? Wow. Unbelievable shot. Marvelous shot. Two in one day. We saw the same okay. earlier today. Good shot. You know the other thing that I like, I like there. You know that Jeff just turned his, to Kevin and said, "Did it touch?" And Kevin said, "No, it didn't." And, and there was no. This didn't finish off. You know, th this is terrific. No, it didn't. Oh, it was so no, it close. didn't actually turned away on its last bit of curl. It curled away. Remarkable. Great shot by Stevie Gould. Now Pierre Charette did that uh, in his game against PEI, and then 
<laughs> he's sitting at home watching this. I know. <laughs> and then on his, you're about to and say. I'm about to say. Then on his very next next one, he flashed the peel, okay. so negated the beautiful shot. It's all right. <laughs> So Steve Gould with his first one. One guy. No, one guy. Gets a piece. Now watch the final turn actually turns away. One guy. Oh! Star Rock on you. Yep, it's got something. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. Let that one go by there. Hope to roll out the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Well, some people may be confused with what Kevin Martin is mm -hmm. trying. He doesn't have last rock, so they're saying, mm -hmm. why isn't he playing to the center area? <laughs> well, Alberta knows how good Manitoba are at peeling yeah. stones off. They're trying to get a rock buried behind the corner guard. If it's right. buried, right. Manitoba good. will go after it. If they catch the corner guard off, of course, they'll be the one Alberta stone in the house. Alberta will then go back to the center line. Now, there now be two rocks in play. And at the end of the end, Manitoba would, we, if we follow that all through, would have to make a play against two against stones. Against two instead of the same. And it's a very difficult strategy to explain, but they do know if they keep putting a center line guard up, Manitoba is very Tap good at back. peels, and they may not have an opportunity at the end to force Manitoba to make a shot against something like foot. two stones in the house. What do you see then, half? Huh? What do you see? Half? Huh? For those of you tuning in to see Super Boats here on TSN, we'll join that yep. immediately following our coverage of this yep. quarterfinal. And if Whoa. Super Boats is as good as this battle of heavyweights, okay. that's something you'll enjoy. March 16 and 17 will be in Red Deer, Alberta at the Karcher World Juniors as our season of champions rolls on towards Hamilton and the Ford Worlds. You see that uh, often uh, against good peeling teams and as you, as you pointed out and, and explained it perfectly, um, to try and get in a position where at least good. you can lie good. two at the end of the end if, if nothing else when you're playing against good peeling teams. Kevin tried it a couple of times, couldn't get it buried, so now he's just oh, going to try and hope to get a nose hit here. Kevin. What do you think, sir? That's got to be the plan. A reminder, the 1997 Labatt Briar will be in Calgary, the Canadian Airlines Saddle Dome. <coughs> 17,000 seats available March 8th through the 16th. And there's the ticket number, 1-800-549-1997. Get around this corner guard. Room. A lot of weight. Okay. A lot of room. Cut the the ice down considerably right here. We talked about this in the very second end of the game. No. no. The shot that uh, Jeff Stout was trying no. to bury. Stay in the house. Talk with that shorty. I didn't see a big <laughs> break there. Did you, Linda? Didn't Bill? look like it finished yeah. that well. Boy, that three is so big on that scoreboard. That one rock of Kevin Martin's that caught something raised in the Manitoba stone and the big three, even though Alberta got the two back. No. Very yeah. tough now. Right. Well, you take away that right. point that was the raised All point. Right. Yeah. Good. 
Well, now at least we can follow through that strategy That's we right, tried yeah. to explain. <laughs> now there's one in there. the house of belongs to Alberta. You come back to the center line after Ken Tresser hit the corner guard off which was a good shot. He had to make sure he didn't go by everything. Now you come back to the center line guard area. Manitoba presumably will peel these center line rocks and then we'll see what Alberta can do with their last one. Let's at least go. when come Jeff on. Stoughton goes down to throw, he'll be looking at two, Linda, as the uh, come on. pattern oh. follows. No, it's okay, a little tighter is better. It's okay. Move it up. Wait. A great shot by Steve Gu really set this end up, the pick, which uh, we showed you a couple times. Don't see it too often. We saw it this afternoon. Pierre Charette making the same beautiful pick. The last Hit. of the third stone. Manitoba's Ken Tresser in a 5-5 tie playing 10. The team from the Charles Wood in Winnipeg has last draw. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. From Sue Grenier, your old hometown. You think the lack of big names at this year's Briar is due to the possible cash field burnout? Well, Sue, I heard uh, some people talking about that. I don't think so. I, uh, I mean, they've I don't think they played any more cash bills this year than they did last year. We, we televised for them, but I mean, I don't think they, the teams played any more than they have in the past. So I don't really think that, uh, I just think that, you know, that, that kind of thing happens. And, and uh, we, we had a tremendous field here. It, it wasn't, uh, we didn't have Russ Howard or Wayne Madal or, you know, Eddie Wernick or okay. Rick Folk, and they are the big fine. names that Sue's re referring to. But the, or some them. of them, Carrie cool. Burtnick, but I, I don't think it's uh, burn out. There may be a little... We wanted to cross turning over line. in the oh, game, boy. and that happens every so often. We've had other briars where we haven't uh, had uh, a lot of the top yep. teams yep. that have had Come successful on. years. We thank everybody for participating on the internet. So Try to answer way? as many as we could. Look at we'll be looking to talk with you again, surfing the net in Red Deer. Well, what do we do? Make them draw or hit? I don't know, that would be my guess. Put it right on the button. Front four. We roll well, out. It's so hard to roll out, there's no much frost. Yeah. But his feeling I that the house cool. isn't as lively. Well, no, there isn't. You can, you can, we, we talked about it about the sixth end when you were asking about it. And you can see it. You can see the little frost out there. It's very lively. There's, it's, uh, it's human. The, yep. it's, the building is absolutely full. And well, nobody hi. has moved, Linda. Hurry! Just, uh, right up. Do nice nice you want to make him draw or hit? If you were to make him draw, you would play <laughs> over and protect the stone no, that's in the tw back of the 12 yeah. foot sitting at the 8 o'clock position. Oh, put it on the frost line, though, it's no easy hit. Yeah. Huh? It's tough, tough draw right now. I think if they come off it, it'll, it'll die. That's not bad either. Fire. Huh? Time out. Another one. I think like two minutes. Hey, I think it's even raw. Well, whatever. Put it right here. You know, I just threw a draw, and there's no difference in the weight, eh? No, but there's no difference in the weight. Put it on the top eight. Okay. Let him hit. If you wanted to make him draw, you could put it there. You could well, also put it over right. here. <laughs> Rolls oh, into he the frost. Could. He could roll out. He might draw anyway. I don't know. What Kevin wants to do is put it on the frost line. He thinks there's a line out here. I was thinking going on the edge of the frost line. Here. Mm. You'll make the difference. Yeah. Well, it's, what do you think? It's, it'll make a difference. If we put it here, he's go to the outside. at least he's got to go. He won't be able to go wider. He's got to go away from the center. Where? Make sure it's in the house, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can here. What do you think? I mean, if you really okay. like that. Time's in, guys, so. Yeah, two minutes. What do you like? What do you like? I think he's going to win, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go here. There's a decision. Yeah, there you see. He's under Let's two get a biter and make well, him draw. So. Some urgency.
Remember, there's a stone back in here. There's a stone back in here. And Kevin said, maybe we'll put it here. And there may be a frost yeah. line making it a more difficult hit. But they changed their mind. Their stone is still back there. They're going to try and put it right here and making him go out to draw with one of the two turns. Probably, definitely, there's a shiny path Hurry. and there's a, a path light. that isn't. The hardest okay. part with Careful. this shot is for the brushers Careful. to place it properly. If they bring it too deep, it takes away the whole idea of forcing the draw. If you bring it in and oh. it's full 12 foot near the 8 foot, it's an open hit. So half in oh. Oh. and half out of the 12. Is that the ideal spot? Oh. It's very tough to brush it there. Oh. Well, Jeff, do you want to draw or do you want to hit? He's had it all the entire game, hasn't he? And he's drawn. Drawing down the center in towards what might be a cross line. Which is the smart way? Oh, yes. I, I wouldn't go out and draw in, in towards the center because if you get caught out there, you never know what's going to happen. You know, if the natural fax is as bad as they say it is. <laughs> Kevin did say a, make a comment in there. The draw Probably. weight hasn't changed, you guys. It, you, did, you heard him say that. Yeah, it's, uh, again, in the mind. You must block out the fact that you think you see a little frost and just throw it to the sweepers as you have all week. He did throw one through earlier in this game. Yeah, but he's, for the most part, had the draw weight in his pocket. Here it is. Easy, he easy, needs easy. a piece of the eight. Clean. Line's fine, guys. Line's to put fine. himself clean. into Line's Sunday's final. Clean. 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 Steve Gould. Stuff here. Gary Stuff Vandenberg here. This will this clean easy. it on the way down. This Ken easy. Presser will call the line. And there it is. Four foot, key line weight, ten Manitoba. And Jeff Stout are through to Sunday's final of this, the 1996 Lavette Friar. The final Manitoba six and Alberta five. Thanks, Kevin. And so with the win, it is Manitoba through to Sunday's final. Alberta plays Quebec in the semifinal. The winner to go on to Sunday to declare the 1996 Levant Briar champion. The Bison, they're on the run, and they're happy. At the Charles Wood in Winnipeg, Manitoba's Jeff Stoughton is into the final. <laughs> the 1996 Labatt Briar was brought to you by... Labatt, good things brewing. Unitel, quality long distance for less. And by Maple Leaf Meats, a cut above. Kendra waved that Manitoba flag. Very proud of Dad Gary. He's into the final. <laughs> when my Joey had diaper rash, I felt like crying too. I wish I'd known about this. Baby Fresh Diaper Rash Prevention, the only brand that helps prevent diaper rash. No other brand lays down an invisible protective barrier that helps block irritating wetness. Plus, it's big, thick, and incredibly gentle. And to us, nothing could feel better than that. Baby Fresh Diaper Rash Prevention cleans gently, protects gently. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, hi. I'm using this ordinary telescope to take a look at auto repairs. My hunch is we're going to see something kind of interesting here, and look, there it is right now. At some places, you're not allowed to see what's going on with your car. However, at Midas, things are completely different. Look at this. They take you under the car. They let you see just what needs fixing and what can wait. You're in the loop, I tell you. Midas, the way it should be. Maybe you think only those jet set types need a Nokia cellular phone. 
Hi, it's me. Flight's delayed. Well, now, Nokia is making cellular phones so easy. Lately. Can I skip my bath? They're practically child's uh -huh. play. Attention, Flight 11 is delayed. Uh, can I call you back? With Nokia's big, easy-to-read screens, last number redial, and sleek designs. No, don't hold dinner. I'm eating my body weight in hot dogs. No, wait up. You gotta tuck me in. So get set to join the jet set. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America. Connecting people. Natural ability can only take you so far. Equipment counts for a lot. I'm always checking out new ideas. You have to to stay competitive. That's what I like about Pert Plus. Cleans and conditions in one step. No messing with two bottles. I get great results. No hassle, no fuss. Eventually, we all cross the finish. The winners just find a better way to get there. Pert Plus, great hair, no fuss. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. It's time for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by Super 8 Motels. Well, it was a wonderful game, and it's such a shame, as we mentioned, for something like this to happen. Kevin Martin is trying to freeze. There's only one Manitoba stone in the rings. Right out of his hand, you can see him looking back. It picks up something, starts to overcurl, but doesn't lose its weight, and that's the big problem. It actually comes down raises the Manitoba stone in so that Manitoba has an open hit with their last shot for three. That's the turning point, and that sends Manitoba to the final. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN and Super 8 Motels with over 1,400 locations throughout North America. Life's great at Super 8. And what a great shot it was by Steve Gould. Even the fat boy can make the tick some days. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can, boy. He made a great tick. Raise with Jeff Scott. Jeff, congratulations. That was absolutely, without a question of doubt, the most entertaining. You couldn't spend three hours better, no matter how you tried. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Well, thank you, Ray. Uh, it was a thrill for us, too. I mean, we, we played our hearts out, and, uh, you know, an unfortunate break for Kevin in eight, but uh, these things happen, and I kind of went brain dead in five when I threw my draw through that when I was splitting the, split the house there. So, uh, you know, you get those type of things, and, and we're just looking forward to Sunday. Well, tremendous. I, you're right. It, you hate to see that happen to, you know, to Kevin because he that team played so well as well. And uh, not just the pick, the fact was that they raised in the rings. That's what really hurt. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, if he catches something, it's no big deal. But to raise us in and give us a chance for three was, uh, you know, obviously that's a big turning point right there. But, uh, you know, it, it happens. Those things happen in a curling game and uh, you take them, uh, take them as they come. They do. And Jeff, thank you very much for a great week. Congratulations again and good luck on Sunday. Thank you, Ray. Well, I tell you what, you make one tick, and everybody wants your autograph. And I bet, do you think he's signing it now? The tickster? Steve Cool. <laughs> Manitoba's through to the final. Imagine an automobile where every component is engineered to such precise tolerances. It feels as if it were formed from a single piece of steel. Introducing the all-new Mercury Sable. The 1996 Mercury Sable. Now available in sedan or wagon for the same price. Imagine that. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. That was a big party last night. You were on this phone a long time last night. Who'd you call? Just for fun, who'd you call? I called everybody. Yeah. Everybody here, everybody back home. Everybody what? back home, I gave them a call. Yeah, called everybody, everybody back, back home. I called everyone back home. What? <laughs> nice, the guy goes back up in his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you guys, but uh, you should see the deal I got. Yeah, and only three yeah. numbers. No, Thank no, you. all numbers. All numbers. All, all right. numbers. Yeah. Can you call Hong Kong? I could call Hong Kong. Did you call Hong Kong? I called Hong Kong. Nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you did this deal. <laughs> 
At first glance, this battery looks like most other batteries, except for one important feature. Only a UAP NAPA battery meets the top quality standards of UAP NAPA. UAP NAPA, the right brand for the job. Look, I invented something amazing. 2,000 flushes, blue plus bleach. Powerful blue detergent plus stain-fighting chlorine bleach. Two cleans in one for up to four months. 2,000 flushes, blue plus bleach. Two cleans in one. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. Psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, dandruff. Symptom, persistent, itchy, flaky scalp. Solution, Neutrogena T-Gel. It works. Neutrogena T-Gel Shampoo. I've seen every card there is. Thousands of cards. Super 8's VIP card. It says, congratulations, your reservation is guaranteed, and you get 10% off. <laughs> Life's great at Super 8. It's been a wonderful week for us here in Kamloops. We thank all the teams for their participation in what we hope to bring you. We wish the best of luck to Quebec, Alberta, and Manitoba in their final two days. We'll be back with you with the Karcher World Juniors Men's and Women's Finals, March 16th and 18th from Red Deer. Our special thanks as well to a very hardworking group of women and men on our crew. They do an exceptional job, and they aren't thanked enough. Now, on behalf of Linda Moore, Ray Turnbull, and our entire crew, I'm Vic Roder. Thanks for joining us. How do you feel about that? Thank you, Kamloops. And remember, the most comprehensive curling coverage in Canada is right here on TSN. Stay with us now for Super Bouts here on TSN. This is TSN. From Regina, Saskatchewan, this is TSN, coast to coast.